Welcome everybody to the H3 Podcast Live. Thank you to today's sponsors, Honey, Quip, Tripping, and of course, subscribers like you. Just a reminder that if you have Amazon Prime, you can attach it to Twitch and subscribe for free. Yes, that's F-R-E-E. If you go to Amazon.com slash, I don't know, but just, <laughs> you can subscribe for free. It's free money. Um, our first live show, tickets went on sale last week. 14th. It sold out in about 15 minutes. <laughs> And I will say that's really cool and exciting, but there wasn't that many tickets. Yeah, it's a really it's small like show, but it's going to be crazy. We accept the victory. Accept I the accept victory. the victory. It's not like we well. sold out the Rose Bowl or something, <laughs> but it was pretty exciting. So anyone who got tickets, thank you for that. I think it's going to be, I'm super pumped. We may have a special guest that will blow your mind. We may not, though, so we don't. Not. it's not a promise. But you already <laughs> bought the ticket, so you're already getting more than you bargained for. Um, joined today by my good friend and sweetheart who came donned in garbs. Oh, wow. I didn't garbs. even realize garbs. I was repping the merch. <laughs> wow. Garbs? Is garb That's derogatory amazing. or is that? I mean, it just means clothing, right? As far as I know, yeah. But, I mean, at this point... You could pretty much link anything to some sort of weird some, derogatory yeah, thing. Yeah, Garb is racist somehow. Like I, Somebody will I, connect I, I heard off. about the marijuana thing. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. that's a no-go now. Garb the M is word. the G word. <laughs> yeah, the G word. Sorry, everybody. Uh. I offended. Um, Ian Hecox from Smosh is here to co-host with us today as we journey through giggles, laughs, romps, and rights through this top of the month. I don't know why. This is a new thing I'm doing is pointing at the camera. I, I like that. We're touching tips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm loving it. It's powerful. Yes, you. Um, and Ela, before we begin, let me first congratulate you on your new whack book error. Yes, whack book E R R O R. Not the air. It's the pro. <laughs> the whack book bro. But thank you. And yeah, there's a little bit of a fight happening in our family right now because Ethan is like <coughs> anti Mac. Yeah. Products. Oh. I don't like Mac. Apple product. I don't like the company. I don't like the product. I don't like anything about them. And Ela knows that I feel this strongly but about it. And so she's still Ethan, going behind my back. This is like a cheating. And then I try to tell him, Ethan, please don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't I'm kill my vibe. It's, it's, it's never a good I'm idea to take right loyalty over electronics because there's always going to be something that surpasses it a year later. Like I used to, I used to be a big hater of uh, denim jeans. Not that that's electronics. Denim? How can you hate denim? I don't know. Like I, I didn't, what? I didn't wear jeans for like five years, huh. and I, what? I don't know why. Would you wear corduroy? I think I just was trying to feel special about something. <laughs> well, what did yeah, you wear? Just, just straight cords, you know. Uh, Khaki. No, like yeah, ca like car just jeans, like shorts. cargo cargo shorts. This was all right. <laughs> This is early 2000s, okay? It was acceptable to wear cargo shorts <laughs> and khakis. Khakis are good. Cargo's a little... It wasn't a good time for fashion in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The early 2000s. You go back there. Yeah, I think You know, I you, got, you got Britney Spears and, and uh, JT showing up in all denim. Right. No so you, it, was a, it was a pushback on, on what you saw. It was my revolt, yeah. yeah. I was like, <laughs> counterculture. Ah, nah. I don't want to wear this. I, I I used to not wear denim. I, and and actually, I, it's funny. I made fun of you. Said, "Well, would you wear corduroy?" I said that because that's what I used to wear. Oh yeah. In middle school, I would only wear corduroy pants. And now, when I think you back, you still don't wear denim. No, like, I don't. Fuck I don't with think denim. you even have mm. one pair of jeans. But I'm not against denim. Yeah. I don't. I've not put us. I've not put like a stake in the ground. Sure. <laughs> like I have with Mac. <laughs> Mac, it's overpriced. The company. Ha I don't like the way they run the company. Ela gets in today. The first thing she's like, "Oh my god, I forgot my dongle. Oh, I need to sign into Apple <laughs> ID." Me, Ethan, this is the future. It's not the future. That's the, the past. The dongle is the future. Guess <laughs> what, guys? Right. We've got a really exciting <laughs> new invention where you have to carry around a second piece if you want to use this headphones. Tiny little yeah. thing. It's so easy to carry. What's your problem? That I'm is just... that is nicer now, but now but now it won't like if you Look accidentally at, yank your cord, it. this is all it'll you take your laptop carry. off with it, right? Because I have an older MacBook that has like the magnetic thing, right? That was which I think kind of made sense. Yeah, it was like the um, so like the old Xbox controllers, how they had like the cord, the rip away. You, yeah, it had like it would like rip away. That's just gonna take your laptop with it. Of course, I think that's actually what Apple wants, though. 
especially after they now that now that they made the iPhones water resistant, <laughs> right. I feel like they resist resisted they resisted for a long time making their phones water resistant because they made they want so to break. Yeah. much money because of people dropping their phones and right. toilets and they're like dude we could have done this decades ago oh yeah they're missing out on a lot of money now that of course now they make their phones break easier right because now they're all glass and everything yeah, yeah you, so they just, you, you breathe on it wrong and they fixed it one down. way and, so yeah. how much did that laptop cost you Ela? it cost me thirty four hundred dollars Damn. It and, hurt. Yeah, it, it, it hurt. really hurt. Yeah, but, it's my money too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but I, so far, I only had like this stupid gaming laptop. <laughs> gaming it's laptops like, are pretty dumb. I'm not a gamer, but it's like usually good for Wait. everything, you know? Oh, so, it was like a Razer? No, well, not a Razer, it's actually. Not even... Like, not a name brand, Yeah. right? We, But, um... It's like so bulky. It's huge. Right. Yeah. yeah. And carrying like whenever we travel, like I have back pain afterwards for the no, whole week. No, it's stupid. It's awful. So you said I need a I need a laptop that that feels like air when I'm carrying it around. And <laughs> yes. Apple's like, got you, fam. <laughs> Whackbook Air Whack was book born. Air. <laughs> but so, this is huge because we've always, you know, Ethan is passionate. So. Mm hmm. I usually. Yeah, you gotta let it go. Well, here's what's happening. The stage is set for. A tech off. <laughs> a tech H3, off. H3 tech reviews. <laughs> I'm shopping around to find a PC mm. or Windows machine that closest resembles the Whackbook. And so <laughs> I'm looking at one, and I'm doing it specifically by weight, right? Because these things, yeah. it's slick. It's it's so light, right? This thing weighs about 4.3 pounds. Like so, Shredder. Yeah, like Shredder. Oh. That's... <laughs> What a cutie pie. You should always, that, is thing. that should always be your metric, like how many shredders it weighs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking for one shredder's weight. I want basically the same weight. I think I'm going to be able to get a larger hard drive, more RAM, a faster processor, a better video card for less. But the question is... We will see. The question, and it's not even a, the matter of like processing speed, it's usability. It's they've got. A, I'll say they're very sleek. They've it's got a sleek so thing sleek. going on. How about and that this screen, is, This too? is not an ad for any company. That We're voice, just being He scared me here. for it. Like, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Oh, oh, yeah, the voice yeah, of God, dude. You, Sorry. You Gosh, been I gotta get used to that. We have ghosts in yeah. here. We oh. also have, like, sometimes it can do soundboard stuff, so... Mm. So it'll just come in with a fart noise? Do oh. we not have fart noises, Ooh. Dan? Seriously? Ooh, good idea. That's what God, Zach was saying last time. He was like, do we have any fucking shit sounds I can blast? And just go full morning AM radio. I mean, um, every once in a while, the the fart noise comes in handy. Yeah, it's, I'm not saying you overuse it, but when you, you can't discount right a good fart. Yeah. Anyway, so the stage is set. I mm. think this weekend I'm going to get my own um, Golden Boy. PC stands for probably cooler. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so right. The stage is set for an epic tech battle. Until then, let's get uh, enough about Max. Let's mm. get on with it. Let's get on to a really important headline. First story of the day, I think everybody's going to be wowed by, if you catch my drift. Let me open this. In Australia, the, probably the goofiest country in, on, on the planet Earth, mm. uh, hundreds of people gathered to say wow, like Owen Wilson. <laughs> Let that sink in, my friends. Goofiest country on Earth, and I mean that in a, in a great way. They're playful, they're fun. I love Australia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Owen Wilson is a very popular on the internet for the way he pronounces the word wow. And now he's what? drawing large I never heard of that. How does he say never wow? Never heard of that ever. Really? No, he, he has a thing. Like in his movies, he always plays the same character and he goes, wow. That's well, not the only word that he says, though. He's, he also well, has other phrases that he's brought into other things. So he's like, that's crazier than a road lizard. Right. He's literally said that phrase <laughs> in that's multiple crazier than movies. What? That's crazier than a road lizard. I don't think that analogy is very compelling. <laughs> well, he's he's put it in a lot of his movies, and oh, I, I don't. Well, he does apparently disagree with me. Owen Wilson saying, "Wow!" So let's just see if this is actually a meme before we get. Okay. Oh, it, it definitely is. So here. Wow! Oh, wow! Wow! Oh, wow! Really cool. Yeah. Right, so he goes pole vault over the thing. He goes, and there he is. Oh. Wow! Seven projects. Wow. 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 He really do you draws think, it out. Do you think the wow is ever actually in the script or that's just always in That's improv? all talent. That's yeah. all talent. They <laughs> assume that when they get, when they book him, it comes with a certain amount of wows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When they're writing Family Guy, they're like, we need, you know, 20 jokes per minute. Mm -hmm. So in Owen's case, they're like, we're going to need 
10 wows per scene. It's fair. It's fair. It, yeah. So anyway, let's get let's get back to it. <laughs> um, yada, yada, yada. And these times I think something as silly as getting together and saying wow can have a positive effect. And I'd like to see everyone come together. It can remind people that this world we are lucky to inhabit is beautiful and to embrace that like Owen Wilson does in his movies by saying wow. Wait, did I? Re- okay, let's just watch the video. I had an aneurysm. <laughs> Wow. I like that guy's focus on, on his camera. He fist. just goes straight to the chest yeah. and just hangs yeah. there. Wow. 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 So. I'm kind of I'm kind of underwhelmed. I thought they were gonna give like a countdown. The like a three, really two, sucks. one, wow. But it was just I actually agree. I was expect. I wasn't. It's a free for. I wasn't expecting yeah. a free for all. Yeah. Y'all kept brought the time to come together. Let's at least do it all. At come once. on, Australians, get I it really, together. I really wonder what. How Owen does would something have... like this happen? Like who started it? <laughs> I bet we could put this together if we wanted to. We got to do a different different phrase though. Like they did the wow. We got to do like do lizards in the road or whatever. <laughs> Everyone knows Home Wilson for that. <laughs> yeah. Classic line. Yeah. Here's As an, seen in Shanghai Noon. Here's another oh. angle in case anybody was needs to see this oh, from multiple yeah, this, angles. This is very wow, 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 wow. Do you think he's flattered or insulted by this? Wow. He's wild. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, that was, yeah. I mean, you know what? We Pretty great. It's fun. It's silly. It's fun. It's playful. It's wow. <laughs> Although it doesn't top my favorite well, which will, of course, forever be mm. this classic oh, masterpiece. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard the sound. I've always just seen the, really? the GIF. Wow. Yeah, no, that's the best wow. This oh. guy invented wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I've never actually heard the voice, oh, but yeah? it actually, it, it fit. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. That's a classic. All right, well, I thought that was a lot of fun. Let's get started. Good way to, you know, open it up, see what's out there. Some get the positivity, juices flowing. you know. So this next one, <laughs> this stuff triggers me a little bit. Uh-oh. Okay. So you guys may have heard of the story of this hot teacher that fucked her 14-year-old student. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? <clears throat> Which one? Yeah, it happens a lot. So here, <laughs> I mean, it does seem to happen a lot. It happens uh, from time to time. Let me roll this report. We'll, let's start here. 26-year-old science teacher Stephanie Peterson walked into her first appearance at the Volusia County Jail this afternoon, hoping to be released with just a promise that she would be back to court. Volusia County Sheriff's deputies say Peterson engaged in a sexual relationship with a 14-year-old former student of hers. The teen told deputies it began last November. He said Peterson would send him nude pictures of herself. She would also pick him up from his house late at night so that they could be together. Investigators say the boy's parents called law enforcement in January, and deputies arrested Peterson on Wednesday. Peterson was charged with two counts of lewd and lascivious battery and one count of sending harmful material to a minor. Her bond set at $25,000, and that's why she wanted to be released on her own recognizance today. But the judge met her halfway, reducing her bond to $12,500, an amount she posted almost immediately. Two um, dangerous winter storms are threatening well, millions of really Americans on both sides of the country. Of so, well, that's 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 well, just her, lost uh, her, her bail, right? So <laughs> she hasn't been charged yet. <laughs> that's right? true. That's her bail. But the charges were just like lewd conduct or something, not like statutory rape, which is yeah. what you would expect to see if the positions were switched. Mm. That guy would be like underground. But the part, the thing that really the the reaction to a story like this is very typical and this is this the picture that everyone's sharing here let me show you this is the one that i see on facebook and reddit where everyone's like yeah man where was my teacher like that where was my fucking so she teacher? just sent so him photos is... like she didn't actually no they fucked no they oh, were okay. completely in a okay. relationship this is her and everyone's like oh man where was that where's that teacher when i was a kid <laughs> oh god yeah i would have fucked her <laughs> right so right. my my counter to that is is that this kid like people think like when 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 a young girl has sex with an older guy uh-huh. how damaging that must be right uh-huh. 
I think that it's equally damaging for a man, except they just don't know it because society, like, here's the comments on Reddit. Mm-hmm, Everyone's mm-hmm. like, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, of course. High fives. Yeah. You know, where, here's here's real I comments. I can't stand that. Where the fuck were these dream makers when I was a kid? Oh, damn, I wish I was that guy. Am I supposed to pretend that if that woman fucked me when I was 14, I would have been in a goddamn paradise? So, as you said, Eli, yeah, a horny 13-year-old guy would would put his dick in anything that moved. Right. Yeah, because we talked about it earlier, and I'm like, <laughs> it's her responsibility not to do that. Because that, it's so fucked up when you're, like, when I look back at myself at that age. Oh, my God. I probably thought I'm, like, an adult, by, you know? Yeah, At that course. time, you're like, oh, I'm an adult. Yeah. But, and, but now, looking back, it's, like, embarrassing yes. how you're not. And just, I don't know, it seems so weird. He's 14. 14 is kind of insane. My niece is 14. Yeah. But in that perspective in my head. But the thing is, like, I think I barely danced with a girl when yeah. I was 14. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think I, I almost kissed a girl and, and panicked. <laughs> and then and ran bounced. away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I mean, it's sketchy. It's sketchy. It's, it's just gross either way. So the it thing is. is that, like, I think it would damage somebody mm-hmm. in ways would, they wouldn't it expect. It definitely would. Yeah, right. Like, that's how you grow up as a dude who tattoos on his arm, like, big cock. <laughs> like, like that's how you end up, like, someone like that. Do you know that. a couple of those people? <laughs> Actually, I do. But I'm saying, like, you will turn into, a, per- a, I think, a worse person if this happened to you. It would fuck with, it would hardwire your brain in a fucked up way that you... It would do something, yeah. yeah it's, it's not, not good. It's not good. It's There's not a good. reason it's not allowed, you know? <laughs> Some of these comments, uh, this makes me... <laughs> This makes me absolutely sick. Lucky little shit. I know it's a double standard word, but when I was 14 and banging my hot as fuck teacher, I'd be stoked. I seriously (laughs) doubt this kid was damaged in any way. Irresponsible and stupid on her part? Yes. It's not like she held him down and forced herself on him. We don't know that. I don't think that is what happened. Well, it doesn't matter. She's the adult. She needs to know better. I guarantee this kid was all about it. This would be what I considered a victimless crime. Buying him marijuana was... She also bought him marijuana, by the way. (laughs) Um, cool. <laughs> yeah. So this is a victimless crime, but it's like, would you say the same thing of a fourteen-year-old girl fucking a thirty-year-old guy, and it's like, oh, she wanted it? There would be pitchforks. Yeah. There yeah. would be burning. Yeah. There would yeah. be burning of the monster Frankenstein. Anyway, I, I I always found this double standard to be quite ludicrous. Yeah, it's definitely nothing new. Every time one of those stories comes out, people are like, oh, she's so lucky. Like, oh <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. It's like, uh, no, it's still a, it's still a 20, what was 26, yeah, 26, 26 year old. Also yeah. the relationship of somebody in authority having yeah. sex with somebody they're supposed to be taking care of. Yes. Is, is twisted. It's an on abuse. Top of, of that. It's an abuse of power. Yeah. It's a little scary. Yeah. I don't know what was going through either of their minds. It's a kid. He's, he can't, he's blameless. Yeah. Am I, cause like, you know, yeah, no. It's like I not... said, I put my dick in anything that moved at that age, literally. That's why it's com- it's completely on the adult in that situation, too, in my opinion, too. All right. <laughs> what do you think about it, Dan? One more thing for teachers to worry about. <laughs> you can't even. I can't even fuck my <laughs> teenage students anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta carry Wait. a gun. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I gotta carry a gun. Wait, you're telling me I'm not getting a raise this year, and I can't fuck my 13 year old students? Darn. Well, at least I'll have a gun. You know what I love about this argument about arming teachers? Mm. Just like two days ago, there was a story of a teacher barricading themselves and shooting up a classroom. Yeah. Let's give them more guns. <laughs> <laughs> the least stressful job in the world. They'll be fine. Fucking insane. It's got to be one of the most insane thing I've heard. In- arming teachers? Yeah. Yeah. And giving we- them bonus yeah. based on that. We talked about it last episode, yeah. but it's it really... Oh, I'm sure the comments love that discussion. <laughs> I stayed away. I'm then. sure everyone was really civil <laughs> and kind in the comments. You know what I would love to hear? If there's anybody out there who genuinely believes that we should arm teachers, you want to have a conversation about it. Colin, are we ready for Colin, Stan? We weren't. We, we are not. Weren't. But Shit. we could get it set up during the break. Yeah, we could let's get set it, it up set during up. the break. So yeah. if you're out there and you think, oh, let's give teachers guns, elementary school teachers guns. Colin, let's talk about it. I'm all for arming teachers as long as we get those smart bullets that avoids the good guys and just no. only hits the bad guys. Smart. Because apparently uh, Apple's working on that as we speak. 
<laughs> I hope so. That'd be really trillion? that'd be really helpful. Except you need to log in mid air to your iPhone account. <laughs> your Apple ID. <laughs> Apple ID. Yeah, and I can't I can't remember that password. <laughs> so anyway, that's story number two. Wow. Moving wow. along. Wait, how did he say? Wow. Wow. Damn. Can we get that on the soundboard, please, Dan? Yeah, definitely. definitely. With a fart directly after it. Just this this show is developing <laughs> big time today. You're welcome. Cheers. <laughs> um up next, Papa John severs ties <gasps> with the N F L. No. Wow. And and even worse than that is that they've been replaced by Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. Do you think Papa John's mansion is at risk lately? <laughs> Papa John's Pizza Mansion? Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> that guy's sold enough pies by now. <laughs> I wonder how his Bo doing. <clears throat> Bo's in the house. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I hope Bo's doing okay. Better than the delivery guy, I'm sure. Yeah, as long as he doesn't turn out like the uh, kid that played Anakin. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's man. That? Oh, yeah, he was not happy about being Anakin. He got trashed on when he was going to school, and he... Oh, I feel bad for He got for all kid, messed dude. up. He yeah. got all messed up, and then... What's like, that? The kid who played young Darth Vader in the original prequels... Really? Everybody trashed on this poor kid because he was an awful actor, and he was an awful actor, but it's not his fault. Aww. He's an eight-year-old. Right. And oh, so when he God. grew up and went to school... You know, you can imagine the torment that this poor oh kid went through. Oh, my God. That's not fair. The kid was an awful actor. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. But he ruined the trip. But, no, but, but, well, but okay, that was, that's how bad it was. People were like, this kid ruined Star Wars for me. I mean, and so if you look at the rest of the Star movie, Wars. if you look at the prequels, is it really the actor's <laughs> faults? Well, old Anakin kind of. Was a but little bad cheese kid actors, that's like everywhere. That's, that happens all the time. There are good kid actors. Mm. And when you're making yeah. a Star Wars prequel with a budget of like $50 billion, you, there's a good there's a good kid actor out there. I can imagine it's also hard to write for children because most of the people that are writing these are like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 years old. Right. And, and, and now the they're trying to write in the mindset of a child. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that is a talent, though, that writers do have. Right. They are writers. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying they have the resources. They're like, here's $50 billion. We can find someone who can write the dialogue of a child, and yeah. we should be able to find a child that can do so the part. So you're saying people should blame the writers, not the kid. You blame I'd George blame, Lucas. I'd say, yeah, I'd say blame the writers more than, more than the actors. Yeah, Because you course. can, like, a good actor can only act so good. Yeah. Get with the script that they're given. Yeah. I think uh, writers don't give it, Interest, don't get enough credit. Interestingly, we started at Papa John's. Mm. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that kid's enjoying Papa John's pizzas, regardless. Um, Papa John's, who I will say we approached for a sponsorship deal, they said no. I'm like, I sell more pies than Peyton Manning and all of those guys on the field. I sell more Papa John's pizza than Papa himself. You're saying no to me? Well, I've got a word. I got something to tell you, Papa. If you don't get smart and make a deal with me now, I'll be your new NHL. I'm going to be switching to Pizza Hut. Uh, Jesus. So Pizza Hut took their place. Yeah. The announcement came a day after Papa John said it would end its sponsorship it's with pizza the league. Wars. It is a pizza. It's a legitimate pizza <laughs> war. It's a hot war, unlike a cold war. I don't know. <laughs> Papa John's its last... <laughs> <laughs> well, if it was Papa Murphy's, it could be a Cold War. Because that's like the take and bake. Papa Murphy's? Oh, yeah. Cold War. I don't know. We need another. So, well, Papa Murphy could have a Cold War with DiGior uh, DiGiorno. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Glad we worked that <laughs> Productive out. Productive conversations. Yeah. Like I said, this is a big episode for the show. <laughs> really developing. Papa John, which last week blamed the NFL's response to players protesting for slumps in sales, will focus his partnership on individual teams. What an idiot, by the way. Like, even if you disagree with all these NFL players protesting, don't be like, yo, our pizza sales are dropping, so you all need to stop whatever you're doing. <laughs> this is the NFL is exists to sell pies, people. The pizza went into his head. He's gone. Pizza has gone to his head. You're right. 
Man, that guy's face looks like he's spent a little bit too much time near a pizza oven. You know what I mean? <laughs> Probably John Shatner. <laughs> Let's pull up a picture of him. And by the way, I yeah, he's definitely gonna sponsor well, you. Well, he was not gonna watch this. Papa John, what is? <laughs> what do you think Papa John watches for entertainment? Uh, <sighs> news. Fox News probably. Fox and Friends all day. Probably just like torture videos, maybe. <laughs> Slaughterhouse. Yeah. <laughs> video. Hey, put on a. Oh, look at yeah. That that that's a face <sighs> that's been around a pizza oven. I feel like this guy just watches a lot of Baywatch. Oh, and that's yeah. I can totally see just that. Just bay watch all day. Yeah. Why'd they blur the pizza? That is so Papa. <laughs> oh. oh man. I like this sad Super music. Sad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where I am, but I'm into it. Poor Papa. <laughs> oh. Everybody, if you have any lighters, please get them out now. Put them up in the in the. In the you know. Pour one out for the Papa. Yeah. Put a slice on the ground for Papa boy. Mm. Wow. Oh, thank you. Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> oh, I want that jacket, though. That, that yeah, jacket that is, that is a pretty cool say. jacket. What? Nice swag, Papa. Um, the league's deal with pizza Whoa. is for four years and is worth more than Papa John's deal. Uh-oh. The agreement gives Pizza Hut, which is owned by Yum Brands, an exclu- Yum Brands. That's fake. It's Pop- a fake name. <laughs> yum Yum. I feel like that's like Japanese, like a Chinese company that owns, secretly owns every... That's like somebody that's food like, we need to make a company that's like a food company. What do we call it? Uh, yum. yum. <laughs> well, that's why I think it's Chinese because <laughs> Google they Translate. always do that. They're just like, we need a, we need to, we make, we sell meat. So let's call it woof or something. <laughs> it's the Chinese shit, man. Uh, Papa John said Tuesday. The company reported that its sales were down 4% from the year before. Wait, 4%? 4%. Is that a lot? I think in the pizza world, probably. <laughs> well, I remember he threw up a stink when health insurance rolled around Obamacare, that yeah. giving his employees health insurance was going to cost him like three cents more per pie. And he thought that that was remarkable enough that him saying that publicly would be yeah. convincing, even though everyone ripped him for it. He's like, everyone's going to get that. Everyone's going to sympathize. Yeah. Everybody's fine with my employees, you know, being broke. You it's don't cool. want to pay three like, cents If they more. get cancer, whatever, just. <laughs> but people are like, yeah, three cents. I don't even, I, who even carries pennies? I literally throw pennies on the floor. It's, it's, it's a health hazard. I feel like pennies mm-hmm. are a health hazard. Right. When you get enough pennies, I mean, you can't, I mean, that could buy a whole new Papa mansion though. And he's got to worry about that. That'd be a good video. You you watch you've seen that trend on YouTube buying oh, stuff yeah. with pennies, buying Gucci clothes with pennies, <sighs> buying it's like a whole trend. You know, funnily enough, it connects back to us because it was the Bradberry's little brother who had that viral hit. Did they start it? I think they may have had they. I no offense to them, but I don't think they're whatever mm-hmm. be a, have any original thought. <laughs> no, when it of the comes show, to but... this kind of videos, they're pretty. They got something going on there. They're I've innovators. Heard of, <laughs> what are you talking about? I've heard about like somebody went to like the DMV. They had some sort of ticket they had to pay off, and they they paid it off in pennies. And I was talking about that with my friend, and 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 he was like, "That's that's just mean." The the office worker yeah. didn't give you that ticket, and now you've just burdened this person with a hundred thousand. It was just pennies. a revenge thing. Yeah. So in, in the case, interestingly, yeah, let's in the case of paying food. bills. For a government issued bill, they have to accept any currency by law. Mm. That makes sense. But in the case of Gucci, they're like, get out, you fucking hooligans. I actually want to see if they invented this. Let's see. Um, sort by. Let's watch a little bit of that one. Aren't you curious if they invented it or not? We can figure this out. Uh, I don't know. Do you count? It would also help if you spelled penny correctly. Penny. Well, it's pennies. <laughs> you, they always say penny. Ah. But I do need the S to complete the thought. So, <laughs> so here, there's his one month ago. Wolfie. I actually think Wolfie may have invented that. He seems more creative, if I'm being frank. They're all from one month ago, though. Hmm. Oh, here you go. Buying, oh, you know what? Let's just get into it. Let's just get right into it. <laughs> so uh, the Bradberries have the most <laughs> insane fucking little brother. This kid scares the there's shit There's another out of me. one. Omar. Bro. How many Bradberries are there? 
three that three, I know of. Three for all we know. But you know, in the winter time, the berry it's berry season. <laughs> yeah, and those berries flourish. Oh man, in weather like this. <laughs> Everybody, I'm Robbie, hope it goes having an amazing day. But anyways, guys, today I'm actually going to be I going love to the, the plastic Google. covered couch. They haven't changed that. Store, and, uh, <laughs> Since all the way back on our first video about, about them. They live with their grandma? I have to presume so. Yeah. It must be. <laughs> but they're killing it with all these penny videos. Why don't they go get a fucking... Well, he's young. He probably That's probably their parents' house. Hmm. Hmm. They have to know that doing shooting a video on a plastic covered couch is not a good look. <laughs> I think that should be self apparent. Gee, what's a hundred thousand pennies, guys? Yes, you heard it. Not ten thousand, not twenty thousand, fifty thousand, one hundred thousand pennies. Whoa. Yeah, that's a lot of pennies. So, that is a lot of pennies. Whoa, pennies? Whoa, wait. Does the camera so ever like stop moving? There's always something happening on the screen. This is it's kind of an interesting overload. It's interesting that they had the presence of mind to just keyframe in and out nonstop. Cause it, I mean, it take not a lot of effort, but some. I get the pennies, they got the cash. I have a hundred. It worked. This has five million views. For me, and we could just go to the Gucci store and uh, buy something from Gucci. Hopefully, they do accept it because right, this my. This just taking too long, but. <laughs> Surprised. I have to give him credit for all the editing. Yeah. We got one suitcase, two suitcases, three suitcases, four suitcases, five suitcases oh filled God. with pen. Uh, yeah, guys. One more suitcase. Never seen this in your life. Christ. All right, here they come. Oh Man, my they, God. Okay, this is kind of a couple young guys walking through the mall with a bunch of suitcases. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that they're just pennies in there. Yeah, they could have edited this down a little bit. Going to the Gucci store. Oh my God, it's 18 it was 18 minutes long. Oh man, how are we gonna make our video then? Not the All right, you know what? And they get kicked right, out. So yada yada yada. Wow, right that was crazy. That was insane. So did they just go there and they got kicked out? And that yeah. was an 18-minute-long video. Five million. <sighs> five million views on that, my dude. <sighs> what's the last, have you? What's the last time you've had a five million video? I've had uh, a five I'd have million to look. video in a while. <laughs> I'd have to look. Usually it's all it's always just kind of like a consistent like I don't know cuz we I mean I guess clearly we need to start that's, making yeah, penny that's, videos. That's what I'm driving at. Is that Wow. How old is he too? It's like super young. Omar. He's about 30, he's about 14 just right the the right age to have a high school teacher. Do you, think, do you think he's doing all the editing? No. Nah. No. Nah. I think they have like I honestly think that um Dennisy does the editing. Mm. Dennisy TV, remember that guy? Mm -mm. Down the meme hole we go. <laughs> I don't know, but it's a it's a theory. Well, anyway, my point is, I haven't gotten five million views in a long time. We need to team up right. and go to get penny, penny shopping. Yeah. What if the whole video was just cake? We got to do it bigger than that, though. Mm. We got to go down to Mexico with pesos. And hit up the Gucci <laughs> store there. Hell yeah, that's true. <laughs> Although, yeah, that would go. Buying a buying a yacht with pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Show up with like another yacht. Anyway, this is this this has gone on too long. This penny meme. Papa John got fired, and I'm still here. Where are you? Well, now he's got money to spend. So he's got pennies for days. Papa, hit him up. Papa. Yeah, that's what that's my point. So anyway, guys, we are gonna go to a quick break. Stay tuned. So much more laughs and gaffs left. Don't go away. Thank you to Honey for sponsoring this episode of the H3 Podcast. Would you ever turn down free money? No. No. Who would do that? Well, if you shop online without the best coupon, you're already paying too much. How many stores online are like, oh, this item is usually $1,000, except with this coupon that we've only told some people about, it's actually 250 it's actually $5. That doesn't happen anymore with Honey, which is a free browser extension that finds the best coupons on the web so you know you're always getting the best price. This app is a revolution. In two clicks, add Honey to any browser for free and then just go ahead and shop 
like you normally would. Honey scans and tests millions of coupons in the background, like an old Jewish father clipping coupons silently in the darkness. <laughs> like Ethan. My dad used to clip coupons. <laughs> that, you, that was like, he'd work all day and he'd come back and clip coupons. That's what it's doing for you all the time. Wait, like me? I don't clip coupons. No, you don't. I use Honey. <laughs> Saves me the effort. At checkout, Honey will automatically apply the best coupon to get you the biggest discount. Over 7 million people use Honey every day and together saved millions of dollars. When Honey's got your back, you'll never overpay again. Just the other day, we were ordering parts on Amazon. True story. This for, is based on true story. This is not this this sometimes movies be like based on true events. This is true events. <laughs> movies be like <laughs> <laughs> uh crying laughing emoji. <laughs> um we were ordering parts for a comp new computer on Amazon. Dan's putting it together and he's like Honey just saved me 10 bucks on Amazon. Whole $10. Well, it wasn't 10. How much was it exactly, uh, like Dan? Nine something. It was. I, I wrote it down because I was so impressed. It was, like, it was $9.41. That's $10 yo. pretty much. Yeah. I just want to be authentic as possible because we've <laughs> emphasized how real this story okay. is. Nine forty one. And what it did is like, oh, this processor is available from another seller. Still Amazon Prime, by the way. Amazon Prime. Shout out to you. Twitch Prime. <laughs> that was special. That was like a Ghostbusters cross the streams thing. Um, and so what they do, because Amazon's got all these different sales, they automatically pick one that's cheaper and still prime. It's equal in all the ways, just ten dollars less. Nine forty one. It was incredible. There's no reason not to add honey to your browser. It's free, takes just seconds to install, and will save you tons of money. Add honey to your browser for free right now. At joinhoney.com slash h3. That's joinhoney.com slash h3. You're going to be taking a dive into your uh, Uncle Scrooge coin pool before the end of this copy read. I feel like we need a close-up camera on the... Touch finger cam. <laughs> Did that image make sense? The, the, the What do you call it? The Scrooge McDuck? Scrooge McDuck. Yeah, yeah there you go. You're going to be Scrooge McDuck in your way. To prosperity with honey. Joinhoney.com slash h3. Did I read that right? That's the link, right? You sure did. Yep. Join Next up, thank you to Quip. Oh, <laughs> man. I just got my new Quip. I got my new head this morning. I attached it. We got it in blue this time. I was like, I, I wish... Actually, I wish we brought it. It's, it's a really, really beautiful cool. color. Matches my shirt, kind of. Let me tell you about Quip for those who are not yet been initiated into the Quip army. <laughs> Quip is one of the best inventions of the past 100 years, right behind, I would say, the internet. Internet, air travel, Quip. Quip is an electric toothbrush that's so sleek and so hot and so easy to use. It vibrates. First of all, talk to any dentist and they'll tell you vibrating toothbrush cleans your teeth better. Next up, thank you, Ila, for the Sound vibrating. Effects. Yeah, thank you for the, how do you call that? The folly? I don't know. It's not really Foley. it's not really fully if it's actually coming from the toothbrush though, is it? VFX. <laughs> it times your That's brush it. so you know you're getting the best possible clean. It vibrates every 30 seconds. Just to say, keep going, man. You're doing great. Your breath stinks and you need all the help you can get. And then all of a sudden, three minutes past, it goes worm, 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 and it turns off and you're like, I'm ready. I'm set. I got the best brush. My breath doesn't stink. I'm not gonna get gingivitis. I'm ready. And besides that, it's got the softest, greatest bristles. I'm a toothbrush fanatic. I love Quip. It's my favorite toothbrush. I cannot recommend it enough. Just try it. It starts at just $25. You've got nothing to lose. It's so important. We brush our teeth every day. Or you sh if you're not, I mean... Uh... There's people, I swear to God, who have met. Yeah. They're like, oh, I just... I brush three times a week. I'm like... <laughs> do you and you talk and you talk to people like because I feel like if you don't brush regularly I mean you all can feel it from here almost it's pretty horrible. don't be one of those guys and don't be one of those guys where you can see like shit caked onto your teeth you gotta brush twice a day too like not not even you talking about every day I mean dentists recommend three times after every meal I gotta admit I don't do three 
sometimes I do three. But two. Two is gonna you're gonna need two. You're gonna need two at least. Let me, as your dentist, advise <laughs> you on that. Try this toothbrush. It's gonna change your life. It's gonna make you wanna brush because it's so fun. Quip starts at just $25. Go to getquip.com slash h3 right now. You'll get your First, I don't know why I'm pointing all of a sudden. I know. It's fun, though. <laughs> hey, you. That's why I had to join you. It's like... Get your first refill pack free with a Quip electric toothbrush. That's your first refill pack free at getquip.com slash H3. That's spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash H3. Give it a shot. Help support the show. Support our sponsors. You're going to love this toothbrush. I guarantee it. If you don't love this toothbrush, come find me and tell me about it. That's don't. If you see me on the street, talk to me about Quip. <laughs> Thank you finally to Tripping.com. Ever plan a vacation? Finding a place to stay that'll make everyone happy for the right price. Where you all want to visit? Well, it can feel like a full-time job. That's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Finding a hotel it makes me sometimes want to just cancel the whole That's trip. True. Spend less time planning your next trip with Tripping.com. Don't visit a ton of sites. On Tripping.com, one search lets you compare every home from the world's top vacation rental sites in one place to find the best deal on your perfect vacation rental. Vacation rentals offer more. More privacy, more space for everyone under one roof, uh, and more choices with fully stocked kitchens. Oof, man, I'd be like, oh, shit, they'll regret giving me that option. There'll be like three grains of rice, uncooked rice left in the pantry when I'm done tearing that up. Uh, and extra bedrooms and even hot tubs. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Wow. <laughs> all the comforts of home and then some. Um, best of all, Tripping.com, you can join the millions of travelers who find more savings with rates up to 80% less than traditional hotels. That means you can go anywhere 80. you want and get a wonderful accommodations for a fraction of the price. All right. Um, so if you're planning spring break on the beach of Florida, Tripping.com. Let's say you're dreaming of sitting on the deck of a smoky mountain cabin. Tripping.com. <laughs> Maybe you want to go to Mars. Tripping.com. That's right. This year, save time and money when you book your vacation home of your dreams with Tripping.com slash H3. That's T-R-I-P-P-I-N-G dot com slash H3. So the next time you're looking to plan your perfect vacation home. Don't trip. Don't Use trip. Tripping. Yeah, that was the one that we coined last time. Right. Don't trip balls. Just go to tripping.com slash H3. But seriously, please support our sponsors if you want to support the show. If you are in the market for a toothbrush, uh, you're going on a trip. A trip. Or. Or. What was the first spot? <laughs> you're, you're just a in coupon. the market at all for anything. Yeah. A coupon. Or in the market for uh, generating free revenue. And this isn't a BitConnect scheme either. <laughs> <Seriously>. <laughs> What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I feel like I ruined the copy reads at the very bottom. Tripping. What's up, what's up, what's up, honey nation? <laughs> it's not a scam. Oh. This has become a mess. <laughs> Let's just get back to the show, guys. Everything's legit. Please support our sponsors. Let's get back into the show. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the H3 Podcast Live with Ela Kleiner for mm-hmm. life and my great, wonderful friend, Ian Hecox? Hecox or Hecox? You got it right the first time. Hecox. Yeah. Hard on the E. Yeah. Always go hard on the E. Mm. No, wait, that that sounds wrong. That's bad. Go hard on the... Go go. hard before the Cox. (laughs) Boom. I don't know. (laughs) We were talking last about Papa John, and then this other little ditty came up related to the Pizza Hut NFL story that I thought was really interesting. Pizza Hut replaces Papa John as NFL sponsor, but guess what? They're also developing a self-driving pizza delivery service. Check this weird shit out. Pizza Hut is teaming up with Toyota to steal our germs. Test out self-driving delivery vehicles that will steal your jobs. Now, what you see here is uh, they're gonna scan your face Put it into the government database. Basically, you're selling all of your human liberties. You can ride share with your pizza. 
you are selling your future kid out of fair jobs. Every college student now is out of work. And uh, the price of pizza has dropped 10 cents. That drone delivery, though. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, do you really want to live in a world where drones are flying overhead? I, like I don't think that's ever going to happen. I, don't I like think how the drone's this super gonna tech is all coming from the need to deliver a pizza. Exactly. It's the most important issue of our time, Ela. Okay. Bro, These people can't melt a piece of bread with cheese in their house. By the way, what's going on exactly here? This drone, this high-tech drone, is delivering to like the president of New Zealand. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a slice. We got the presidential delivery pack. I am kidding. This is actually really cool. But more, I think we need to get real about tech stealing. Not tech Wait, is look, taking they're jobs. Wait, they're Papa John. When will Papa John's join the competition? Uh. Whoa, they're calling him out. <laughs> <laughs> Papa's what? in a car. Oh, with his Wait. old dear friend, Peyton Manning. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Peyton doesn't answer Papa's calls anymore. <laughs> Peyton, we used to be pals. So oh. this video is by Pizza Hut? It's CNN Tech. Oh, CNN Tech. Okay. <laughs> I can definitely see the the delivery working if if you had those going to say like a a ball like a ball game like when it gets out you know everybody's drunk they're leaving the game and you got this giant Pizza Hut delivery truck mm, that's just selling pizzas. just like a like a almost like a robotic food truck yeah because mm. I feel like that would work that would kill in large sort of gathering places where there's where there's you know. Not usually always people there. Um, well, these, I don't think it makes any sense. You don't much... see this as a viable real world. <laughs> I don't see why not. The, so the, the, the thought is that they team up with Amazon and other delivery services, throw it all on this car. And then everything smells like pizza. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything's soggy. The pizza's like... <laughs> well, anyway, my, my, the thing that I thought was like, let's get real, guys. Computers are taking our jobs. And we need to get smart people, okay? And now if you think that, oh, oh, well, I'm, I've got way more skill than a pizza delivery boy. I'm, I write. I'm an engineer. I'm going to, I do all this really cool stuff and no one will ever replace me. Think again. Watch this. Think again. All of our jobs are at risk. Oh, no. What is this? During a 2005 show, songstress Fergie could not ignore nature's call. <laughs> During Think again, her haters. A growing All of our jobs are at risk. Visible. Have you seen these channels? <laughs> <laughs> so there's all these YouTube channels. Is it using um, like deep learning or whatever they call that? Where... I don't know how deep it is. It's just the... it is super deep. I think actually all it is is the. Okay, so I, I this has to be coming out of India. I just have a feeling these programmers set up something to read an article. <laughs> steal a picture from it, auto read it, and then they automatically post it on YouTube. So they did these channels with these really goofy, cringy voices, and they upload like 200 videos a day. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, they're probably making bank. But anyway. As they should. I mean, this is quality content. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. So, I, I mean, if you think that you're too high skilled to be replaced by a computer, journalists, YouTubers, we're all at risk. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, the on the singer's wow. pants. Oh wow! Someone's got to fix the robots, Fergie right? Fergie admitted afterwards. <laughs> nope, robots are gonna be fixing robots. That's true. <laughs> We're all screwed. Robots are gonna be fixing themselves, fixing each other. It's gonna be crazy. That she had peed herself <laughs> to cover it up. She quickly doused herself with champagne. Good thinking, Fergie. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. No, it's not even subscribe to my channel. It's subscribe my channel. That's, it's Vivid World, my dude. That's the name of the wow. channel. Wow. Yeah. How many videos they have? Can you get a count? Yeah, let's see. How do I see? Um, see, but 32,000 subscribers. That's pretty good. That's a there's, fair a, there's a fan base for this. <laughs> how can I see how many videos they have? I don't know that I can do that. But you here you can see just 11 hours ago they uploaded. Oh, wow. Yeah, like 20 videos. Wow. Yeah, thank you, wow. Owen. It's really coming in handy already. So here, let's watch another one. Of those. 
which will include a visit to Jordan, will take place in the summer. Is this how you like to get your notes? His pregnant <laughs> wife, Kate Middleton. Is it better than uh, Alexa? <laughs> but so what that was leading into was this wonderful video. Hmm. Now we're going to get into the deep cringe. The deep, deep cringe, my dude. Fergie drunk at the award show. Have you seen this? <laughs> I heard about it. Mm. I did not see it. I guess I saved saved myself for you. It's honestly mm. really quite hard to watch. This is like some real deep cringe. And I mean, mm. like, in the real sense, people have lost an appreciation for what that actually means. It's harder and harder to come by now because I feel like a lot of companies now are preparing for really cringy moments. And they're like, mm. we can't have this happen. We can't have. Oh, interesting. You know, like a soup, like the Janet Jackson Super Bowl moment. Right. You know. Well, keep preparing. And provide a new perspective of hope. Here we go. Oh, yes. hang on one sec. Right. Excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, Fergie. <laughs> they cleared me out. Was I this is brutal. This is one of the best. And provide ever. a new perspective. Even the of intro hope. is super weird. Yes. Right. Excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, Fergie. <laughs> they cleared me out. What was I supposed to do? They used to so what presumably <laughs> happened? Just a little backstory, because he's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. She was supposed mm -hmm. to come out and present. But the producers realized she was so shit faced <laughs> that they're like, no, dude, go out and do it. Right. Uh, and so this poor guy is really in the middle of something special. No. Uh, hi, Fergie. I'm actually Army Hammer. Thank you. I'm going to win at the Academy Awards. Thanks. Freddie's even watching. <laughs> so. <clears throat> This is unexpected, and in typical Tom He's like, Ford yeah, style, yeah. I think he would love that if he was here. <laughs> they love like a road they to really nowhere. Love it's just really they do. They really stuff. love you. In her mind, she's killing but, uh, it. You know what I mean? Tom she Ford doesn't is realize here. there's like a five second pause in between every word she says. What is she feeling? He's here with? on this bag. He's here on this amazing <sighs> t shirt, mock style, long sleeve shirt, and, and fabulous. This poor skirt guy in the bag. Pumps. But uh, he's also here as a person. And the thing is, behind is all of the Tom Ford life, which I thrive to get, and was really embarrassed that I didn't have Tom Ford makeup in my bag, by the way. <laughs> so She's shaming. killing it in her mind uh, right now. He is a person with compassion. He's a director. He loves to see people's feelings and listen. <laughs> Look at his face, it's so good. Yeah, he's just, man. And uh, <laughs> He didn't bargain for this at all. This is not a shameless He's promotion. Like, wrap it up. <laughs> yeah. I have somebody a help. He's like, somebody help. <laughs> somebody do something. I can't move. Uh, <laughs> I have a new song called A Little Work. Apparently she peed herself too, to the, um, and the previous broadcast. I have a version that has alternate verses. And so. <laughs> Are you just. Shamelessly. No. Shame. With shame. I promote the target. He's trying to sneak out of there. He started to <laughs> shuffle to the side. Yes. Ooh, right. That was the real deal. Because he knew that was going to end up that on YouTube. That was rough. Yeah, that was, that was a bad Oh, man. Whew. Yikes. I feel bad for her. In a way, yeah, you she can tell got shit faced because she was nervous. Didn't work out. Yeah. I often have this feeling when I go to like a gathering and I get drunk. And I'm like, man, I'm I'm sure everyone thought I was such an idiot. Yeah. In so this she case, did it on stage. In this case, <laughs> I don't worry about it as long as it's not recorded. Right. Right. I'm sure I've said or done some pretty dumb things, mm -hmm. but definitely made sure I wasn't I've done recorded. It recorded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I hear. I've done both. <laughs> Cheers. Now I just enjoy a cold G Coca Cola. Mm. <laughs> Does anyone else drink like this? Or just me. Mm. Nice technique. Everyone. So anyway, her rep was saying, her uh, PR guy was saying, it was just a gag. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. <'em. Nice laughs> just try. a routine. 
Well, it's like to bring it back to the to the room, Tommy Wiseau, after it achieved cult status, then he was like, oh, yeah, no, this is a comedy. It's a, yeah. it's a, yeah, yeah it's, it's totally comedy. Yeah, totally. That way. Mm-hmm. The same guy said that um, the pee herself thing was just sweat or something. It's brutal sweat, man. <laughs> Is that even better? I don't <laughs> think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, oh man, that's I some very selective sweating. Yeah, she's clearly gone, oh, fallen on hard times here. She's getting a lot of shit lately. She had, oh yeah, and she did. You know, she got a lot of shit for the anthem. Yeah. Did you see that? No, that's what I thought you were going to show me. <laughs> so we can watch that. No, no, it's fine. I'm sure I, everyone else has already seen it. Let's watch that. <laughs> But the, <laughs> my take on it was that it wasn't nearly as bad as everybody was making out to. Uh, yeah. Well, is it Mariah Carey New Year's Eve? No. no. Bad? Oh, okay. It was more like she tried something different and it didn't really work out. Uh, she tried to do like a sexy, sultry version. Yeah. But it's funny that she had to apologize for it. Did and like she? she? Yeah. Okay, let me she find apologized. some media on this. <laughs> That's Fergie apologizes. For, I mean, it may have been just a tweet. I don't know where you're going to find that. Man, I feel bad for her, dude. Have you seen the Jimmy Kimmel New Year's Eve compilation? No. It's like nine minutes long. It's it's the most supreme cringe video ever. It's real that? bad. Another example why you don't get drunk when you're on camera. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Yeah. What, 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 what I... Jimmy was cringing? Sorry, not Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, oh. Who is, wait, Jamie Kennedy. Sorry. Oh, pfft. Oh man, <laughs> Jamie Kennedy. I like, Jamie Kimmel, like, I a few see years that. ago, yeah, did like a New Year's Eve celebration thing on Hollywood Boulevard, and everyone was clear, <laughs> clearly trashed. Can you can you find that back back there, I, guys? I think we watched that on the podcast once. Oh, we have. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh, <laughs> where it's like it's on it's like KTLA, and they their yeah. production is just completely With train Jamie wrecking. Kennedy. Yeah, and they're like cutting away mid sentence from people, and yeah, what? I'll, I'll try and find it. Um, there's like a girl in the background reading the teleprompter of what the guy was saying oh, on camera, just be like, "I remember that." Yeah, I don't remember. I remember that part stuff. of it. Oh yeah, yeah. So just a short excerpt from this article: the whole performance lasted about two minutes, which was more than enough time for everyone watching to roast Fergie on all social media platforms. Even the comedian Roseanne Barr took a shot at her. I don't know why they made a special note of Roseanne Barr. <laughs> yes, that Roseanne who once sang the national anthem like this. Okay, whatever. I'm out of this. Um, here's a good one. Oh, I got the video. What, are, what did I miss in this one? Dead air. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's a long video, but it's just a big deal. It's a big deal. Come on, man! Don't fucking give me shit, dude. Whoa! What an opening! I gotta have this, bro. That and they're live. And they're live right now. Oh my god! I don't think we've watched this. We watched this. We have not watched Maybe it. Maybe not. This is a classic, though. Oh my god, this is great. I feel like, well. Let's just go back to the beginning because that was wonderful. It's a big deal. <laughs> they roll in live. Yeah. Come on, man! Don't fucking give me shit, dude. <laughs> That's so great. Uh, and they're on, um, they're in front of the Chinese theater, okay. Hollywood Boulevard, New Year's Eve. Okay. As a live action. Somebody's pitching something in the background. <laughs> what? No is talking this? to the mic. Oh man, this is brutal. I love this. You ready to go? You hear the producers yelling. We're live. <laughs> even nobody knows they're All right, live. Welcome back to 2013. <laughs> Let's check in with Stu Stone, who Wait, is you with can Shannon. Hear the producers back there. You ready to go? They yell in the back. Don't fuck into the mic. <laughs> Don't talk in the mic. They can hear you. Oh, this is wonderful. It's so bad. There's so much to point out. There's like a oh. Where's Waldo of cringe. There's so much to see. You ready to go? <laughs> the produ- this is this producer's worst day of his life. Yeah. <laughs> All right, welcome back to 2013. Yeah. Let's check in with Stu Stone, who is with Shannon Elizabeth. Hey, Stu. everybody, we are live, live, live. It's it is like, New Year's Eve here in Hollywood. Not even I'm on here camera. with the beautiful Where Shannon. Is <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, it is awesome to have you here. Hollywood, New Year's Eve. Thanks for spending it. He doesn't know that he's on camera right now. <laughs> wow. And here with us, tell everybody what is going to happen in 2013 with you. Oh, I'm so excited 2013's here. The jalapeno what? turkey burger. Wait, 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 wait. New at Carl's this is the broadcast, yeah. as it appeared. They just accidentally Yeah, they, they kind of cut around, but yeah. And they're back now. 
same <laughs> producers just do. sitting up there. Are we back? <laughs> Are we back? I wonder if there was an earpiece <laughs> malfunction. Because I've done a shoot where my earpiece didn't work. I think it takes more than that. <laughs> There's it it did look like it was out of his ear earlier, so maybe yeah, he was like getting static and had to pull it out or something. I love this. It's resulted to it's live, and he's screaming, "Are we back?" This is wonderful. Go. All yeah, right, so we should go. <laughs> oh man, this is my worst nightmare forever. Forever doing anything live. Really. Never looks so good. Uh, we're gonna throw things over to Jamie. Jamie, what's going on over there? Are you jealous that I'm hanging out with a hot Playboy model and a really hot burger? <laughs> Actually, very... uh, it's me, Jesse <laughs> Stewstone. I wish I was Jamie Kennedy. Oh, but you know, man. all of this green stuff has Jamie acting they a little bit the wrong different. Person. You'll see what I mean. Check this out. <laughs> Oh, it's black screen. Oh my god! <laughs> <Just> nothing playing. <laughs> Dan, who dropped the ball here? <laughs> How is there so many mistakes though? Wait, and then it's just like a random clip what? from the Laugh Factory. No way. They like rolled the wrong clip. Very funny man. Give it up for Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> no way. Well, I can honestly say. What? <laughs> is that real? All right, now watch the girl behind him. That's on the, the left. part that I thought I've seen before. I have never laughed more yeah. at any of Jamie Kennedy's material. Oh, that's great. Now, I have someone here that is even greener than Jamie and probably just oh as funny. God. Who that's knew wonderful. that green could be so sexy? The girl right Lazy. behind him is limp is lip syncing the dialogue because he's just reading a teleprompter. Yeah. Gentlemen, please welcome Anna Rosales. Hello, Anna. Uh, <laughs> Anna, I got questions. I know you've got answers. Can you tell us first and foremost, how can we improve the energy efficiency <laughs> in our homes? What? Hi, Stu. Uh, yeah. It is a pleasure <laughs> to meet you. This is some poppin' New Year's Eve right, material. Oh, God, Macy Gray. This is, this is the worst part. I forgot about this Macy the Gray. <laughs> there, was a recent, the worst? there was a recent Macy Gray cringe, wasn't there? Mm, Look into uh -huh. that, Ian. I think there's something spicy we'll that see, happened see recently. Find, yeah. I forgot about this part. I just feel bad. This part just makes me feel bad. What are you guys gonna do at midnight? The background is really hard on the eyes too, yeah. isn't it? It's like a really, it's really not nice to look at. <laughs> why don't you, why don't you just be early? I think they put her on too early, so she's trying to kill time. God, they really mess everything up. <laughs> Gosh, you guys sure are quiet. Oh, we got some calls for gun control. Here we go. Get spicy, oh, boys. Oh, no. All right, sing this song with me, okay? As loud as you can. Bring in the New Year. Sing it. Sing your heart out. Are you ready? I would watch this. Do you hear some, somebody's mic is like, yes. <laughs> like compared to whatever else is on TV on New Year's evening, mm -hmm. I feel like this has got to be the most entertaining programming. Oh, my God, yes. But not for the right reasons. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, pro no, but I mean, at the same time. <laughs> you don't know the words, just win. yeah. And this is on network Jeremy television. Cut the <laughs> cut the so they're they're dropping right F-bombs. <laughs> Hold on. I'm with my two lovely <laughs> ladies, girls. What's your resolution for 2013? I'm tough. I'm just getting rid of all my haters. What? All your haters? <laughs> Can I ask you something? Do you like white my boys? same exact resolution. I love the hell out of some white people. You, you love the hell. Dude, who is that guy? <laughs> They're just open to the public at this point. The stage so is just... so much going on. <laughs> Man, this is great. Is it true what they say? It's like said? an art piece. You know, they say once you go black... You never go back. Yeah, well, I'm saying you should try white. <laughs> because it'll keep your vagina very tight. Bleep that. Bleep that. Give it up for the first night 2013. Oh it's been an unbelievable night. We want to thank everyone who came out. DTK, Macy Gray, Bulldog. That is, wasn't Yeah. Tremendous. And like, then, like, as they're closing out and the camera's, like, pulling out and they're supposed to be celebrating, there's, like, a fight going on okay, behind them. Oh, yeah. Because I think people are, like, trying to push to get into the... Yeah. Jesse, come down. 
Happy New Year, everybody. Good night. Oh, the fight, the fight already happened, so they're like being taken off. It's ending with a junior. <laughs> God bless you. Yeah, and so we'll that's see where you the in 2021. <laughs> Good night. Throwing punches back there, man. There's a fight. It's ending with a fight. It's ending with that? a fight. It's like God they just threw this God on like. God bless it. Get out. Go to a cartoon. Jesse, come down. Jamie's so over it. They're literally running out out of there. Okay. Happy wow. New Year's, everyone. That was wonderful. Oh, that was a... It's always fun to relive that. <laughs> um, let's take some calls. I have a lot of other stuff lined up, but I, I let's, let's see what they got. Okay, we've got an ex-Army vet believes that there should be more security on campus. I mean, I'm not going to argue with that necessarily. We have Jake, who's a gun owner, believes teachers should be able to carry with proper training. Mm. Let's talk to that. Let's start with the ex-Army vet. That sounds more like more authority. Uh... Hello, Drew. How you doing, bud? Thanks for calling in. You there? What's going on, guys? How you doing? Hey, hey thanks for calling hey. in. Of course, of course. So, okay. What? It, so, what is your position on arming teachers in in public schools? I mean, I definitely think it, it shouldn't be as hard to get into a hospital or an airport as it should be that the future who I don't have any kids, but the future is the kids today. So I know in my city in Boston and the surrounding towns, I could just walk into a high school or an elementary school because I have little brothers and I go to pick them up and it's too easy. Hmm. So I, I don't know about arming teachers and obviously we've seen what happened when there is security and I know where I'm from, they have literal police there and they did in Florida that are armed. Um, so there, something needs to be done. I don't know about arming teachers especially, but there just definitely needs to be more security as to getting in. And um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know okay. where I stand about well, arming I, I won't, teachers. I won't, stuff, uh, but... I won't disagree with you there. Mm -hmm. I definitely think that I mean, there was yeah. a guard there, and he yeah, bounced. That's, that's, yeah, that's that's the argument is right. that there was there was an armed guard there, and and it wasn't stopped. And you know, schools are huge. At least with with my school that I went to, there was I think a couple thousand students, and yeah. it's a large open campus. It's right. not a self contained building. Right. And you know, kids snuck out and snuck in all the time. Is it so, really feasible to like you protect know protect the school like you would an airport? <laughs> Not yeah, really. it's like how I mean, much how much is, you know, I guess I guess there's no there's no saying that um that a armed guard is going to stop them, but it's a deterrent. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's that's the most that we can hope for. Mm -hmm. My thing is I don't think these these people who shoot up schools would be deterred by anyone with a gun because they're they're on a suicide mission already. Mm -hmm. They all die. They know how it ends, right? They all get killed by the police. Or kill themselves a lot of times yeah, too. Let's try one more, Jake here. Uh, hey, how's it going? Oh, hey. hey, how's it going, Jake? Thanks for calling in. So you are oh, a gun great. owner that uh, believes yeah, that great. teachers should carry weaponry. Expand on that. Well, I mean, for me personally, coming from like a strong firearms background, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't mean to one up the guy before me, but I was a I'm a Marine Corps vet. Oh, so, okay. Um, I mean, just given like proper training, if like we can send. Uh, 18 year olds to go to Afghanistan and die. I don't see why someone who's in their 20s and around kids, why they shouldn't, given the proper training, uh, be allowed to carry a concealed weapon if they so choose. Well, so you're you're saying someone who's ex-military should be a teacher. We need to overlap those two. No, or, or, or well, you, you said we can send people off at send eighteen. Send teachers to trainings. Right. Okay. So yeah, I'm my, saying like, but don't they, like a, yeah. a highly trained professional. If there's a highly trained, highly trained professional <laughs> at the school, then they should be allowed to carry. Who's also a teacher? Yeah. yeah. I guess, in a sense. Do you think that it's putting experience. too much responsibility on a teacher in a way to expect them to not only be like? To be educators and to go to college for that and to have their mind be about educating and taking care of kids, but to also have to undergo, undergo extreme training to carry a firearm and be prepared to confront an armed <laughs> shooter in the case that that would happen. Doesn't it seem like it's asking a lot? 
Oh, no. I, I know a lot of people who do that, like, in their free time, like, who are very successful people in the business world, and in their free time, they go undergo that training by themselves. So I don't think that's too much to ask. And it's not a man, like, I don't think it's not mandatory that mm-hmm. every teacher should carry. I'm saying they have they a choice. Give them the choice. Right. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. there, do you think that there's any, are we talking kindergarten through high school? Do you think that a kindergarten teacher should have a gun or does it not matter to you what age? I mean, if that kindergarten teacher feels that those uh, kindergartners are a threat or they are in danger, I don't see why they should shouldn't have matter. the option. And do you think like, so in my mind, having more guns in schools creates more opportunities for something to go wrong. Because as we were mentioning earlier in the show, you have the situation of this teacher that barricaded himself in the classroom and shot up the school. Because we have like a lot of people who are advocates of gun control will say we have a mental health problem. So if that's the case and we all agree that there's a mental health problem and not enough people are being treated, do you agree that putting more guns in schools increases the likelihood instead of decreasing that more children will die? I don't think that that's so much the case. I think that, like, um, as part of the training, they would also go undergo, like, a mental health screening as mm-hmm. well, I guess. Right. Do you think Do you think it would be fair? And, like, just to... Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, do you think it would be fair if, uh, if there was a shooter on campus, say, they had a an assault rifle, and the teacher had a handgun, yeah. and the teacher chose not to engage mm-hmm. the shooter, would it then be on the mm-hmm. teacher's... Would it then be the teacher's fault for mm-hmm. not engaging the shooter? Well, I think that comes down again to like personal choice. If they feel like they would be a asset to that situation, then they should have the right to engage with that individual. That's actually a great point, Ian, because it's like a can of worms in a way. Like you see how everybody's railing on this guard who didn't engage, yeah, and they're like naming him and shaming him. So when you open the door for teachers to have guns and say one does have a gun because now all of a sudden that's just acceptable because for whatever reason. Now, once when there is a shooting, that teacher, if they choose not to engage for whatever reason, their life is going to be ruined, I think, almost certainly by everyone who's shaming them for not engaging. And it's not just going to be like, oh, I made the choice not to engage. Everyone's going to be like that coward is responsible for those people dying. And right now, that pressure is not on any of those teachers. Or even beyond that, teachers who choose not to carry a weapon are going to be like, um, those teachers are cowards. They should have had guns. And right now, it's not even an option. So they don't have to deal with that potential. Yeah, I could just see that. I could just see that. being very bad for the teacher. If a teacher was caring and they didn't and they didn't, you know, save the day. Um because it's, uh, I don't know if you're still on the line, um, and you know, with, with with handguns, it takes a lot of persistent <laughs> mm. training to stay proficient at shooting a handgun compared to like an assault rifle. Sure. Not necessarily. I would argue that fact. Okay. Well, well, it's do you more th- like writing. It's it's not that hard, honestly. Well, reg- okay. Regardless of how hard it is to shoot a handgun, do you agree with this? concept of like kind of opening the floodgates of holding teachers responsible now for not engaging with active well, I, shooters? Again, that, that comes down to personal choice. Like uh, when <clears throat> I guess people shaming the, the security guard or the police officer that he, he was, that was his job. To yeah, sure. Children. Like, right. But people the, will say the, the same thing about a teacher with a would gun. Would just be more of a safeguard against an uh, incident like that where they have no one to protect them. Well, as someone who grew up around guns, I can see that. Uh, I mean, I understand your your perspective. To me, it just seems like more. Yeah, I, I mean, I understand your perspective as well. I'm, I'm not. And like, how how can I, you I actually we're... assess like how great? Like, I imagine some desperado teacher tr- like shooting into the hallway yeah, and yeah. kids running everywhere, and then it's like, God forbid, this poor son of a bitch is trying to help, and he ends up, you know, killing a kid. It's just mm-hmm. too chaotic. Man. Yeah, it's just, that's it's too chaotic. That's that's my concern as well. Yeah, I got a, I got a friend that um, he's also a, a Marine vet and he concealed carries and hmm. and I'm fine with that. Sure. I think that's I think that's fine. But when you put it into the teacher's hands and you're talking about a school with shooting starts, kids start running. There's 
all this confusion. You don't know how many shooters there are. You have a teacher run out there. There's saying a bunch of kids running away. How do you know who to shoot? How do you right. know if you're going to hit them and if you're not going to hit a kid? And if you do hit the wrong person, then you're liable for that Damn. life. Can you imagine that? I mean, it's just, it's it's that overcomplicating. I feel like it's it's going in the wrong direction where there's like, I guess, Ian, you said it really in a good way, where it's like people who support guns don't see the option to remove guns. It's only more guns, right? But I, I don't... Well, I'm not saying any everybody that supports guns sees it that way. I mean, I own a gun, but I yeah. have my own... Oh, shit, bro. Oh yeah, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's it's for it's for personal defense yeah. reasons. It's you know, I, I think that you know everybody has a different stance on on gun ownership. Not everybody's one way or the other. Sure. Well, okay. <laughs> it's complicated, but I yeah. think the the everybody's upset and wants to do something about it. I'm sure. That's true. You know. Are you in favor of any kind of gun control to prevent this, Jake? Are you still on the phone? Uh, yes, yeah, thank you. What do you think about like raising the age or 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 uh, banning assault rifles and bump stocks and stuff like that? Just out of curiosity, since I got you here. Well, I mean, in the in the nineties and through there, we had a ban on assault weapons, and I mean that didn't really help school shootings at all. Um, I I mean, it, it's just I'm trying to formulate my thoughts here. Um, I, I would really support like some regulations, I guess, like common sense, whichever way that gets mm -hmm. twisted. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, just yeah. Sorry, I'm. I'm That's all right. Th no, it's fine. Right. Yeah, you're. Thanks for calling in. None dude. of us are. Tough. None yeah. of us are professional <laughs> yeah. gun control yeah. no, I, debaters, so that's yeah, totally I, fine. No, to I appreciate you, you calling yeah. in and, and sharing your experience. God bless you, Jake. Appreciate you. Thanks for your service. Yeah. Uh, thank. Thank you. All right, man. Peace. God bless. All right. Well, we ventured the murky waters of gun control, and I think we came out somewhat unscathed. <laughs> yeah, somewhat unscathed. <laughs> that, was, that was respectful. That was yeah. That was all I right. think. Uh, uh, anyway, let's look. Let's take. And a we hard... learned that you own a gun. Yeah. What kind of gun do you own? It's a shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you know we, we never know. Yeah. When you got a bust had, out a shoddy. We had some weird we had some weird moments where people found out where we lived. Huh. And it's not like I plan on, you know, shooting somebody. Um but yeah. it only takes it takes one person to, you know, have the wrong intentions. Obviously sure. obviously people coming to the house, they you know, the interactions I had were not bad. Mm -hmm. But it only takes one person and uh Well that shit that happened to um Gavin that yeah. scared the shit. Gavin I mean, and Meg. Do. Yeah. And that's and that's the that's the rare obviously I don't think it's ever gonna happen, but yeah. it's the rare occasion where something like that did happen. And I just I messaged him like right right after I heard about this like, dude, like that's insane. Yeah. So glad you guys are okay, because that's <sighs> Ridiculous. Well, for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, Gavin from the slow mo, mm -hmm, the slow mo, -mo guys. guys. Um, Ian says he has a student who was there at the shooting. Wow. Whoa. Gavin from the slow mo guys was at his house with his girlfriend, and somebody broke in in the middle of the night, and they hid in the closet. And mm -hmm. this guy was he drove there from like Florida with mm -hmm. the intention to murder him. Presumably, Damn, both, of both. I don't know if Gavin and his he, girlfriend. Right? The story is he was jealous of him. Oh, okay. Yeah, he had like yeah, he had like yeah. thousands of notes on his phone that really? were professing his love for Meg or something, something to that extent. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But yeah, he walked around the house. He, I think he sh fired the gun once when he entered the house, which is kind of weird. Like, hey, I'm here. Hey, he kind of announced <laughs> your your presence, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, thank God. Like, that's that's <laughs> nuts, man. And then he couldn't find them because they hid in a closet. And then, and then uh, he walked out, and then he got shot and killed by the police. That is so fucked. Oh, I feel geez. so bad for them. I'm going to yeah. be honest. After I heard that, I've got a shoddy. We don't, but you want I've to. got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to tell you, it's pretty easy to get one. Well, shotguns, I don't think. Shotguns are, compared to like a assault rifle or handgun, it's like pretty much made for home defense. You can't miss. 
You blast yeah. their ass to space. You can't shoot through your wall and kill your neighbor's child. You could if you had slugs. Okay. But what is your loaded with? Fucking armor piercing explosive <laughs> yeah. buck? Yeah, dragon's breath. No. Um... My wall will collapse when I, I shoot once. I think it's buckshot. It's either buckshot or birdshot, but yeah. Because at the time I was living with Anthony and we had another roommate. So I was like, mm. okay, hypothetically, mm-hmm. if somebody were, were to come into the house, I don't want to shoot through the wall and kill Anthony. Because <laughs> that would be, you know, very bad for then our, our career. Because our channel would. Yeah, exactly. Would tank. Exactly. Only and that's all I care about. That. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have like one good video about like, I accidentally killed Anthony, but yeah. afterwards. No, man, I'd totally milk it. <laughs> yeah, I'd milk it yeah. for at least Anthony's like 10 dead. videos. <laughs> All thinking right. about him again. So apparently we've got Dylan on the phone here who was at the school in Florida during, which is insane. Uh, Dylan, hey, how are you? You're on the line. Hi. 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 Hey, man. So, t- so tell me about your, tell me about your background. You, you were in Florida during the shooting there? Um, yeah, I'm a Marjorie Stoneman Douglas student and I was on the third floor in my creative writing class when everything happened, wow. basically. Jeez. Holy shit. How are you mm. doing? Was, uh... Um, Go ahead. Oh, I, I was just... I heard you say, how are you? I'm fine. It's, uh, it's very, like, surreal. Like, so everyone's, like, kind of half, like, uh, don't <laughs> doesn't feel like it happened, but it's more of, like, accepting that it did. Mm-hmm. So you were on the third floor. I didn't realize there was like floors. How many floors was on the school? Um, well, the floor, the, the school is, uh, has like a ton of separate buildings where it goes mm. from 100 to 1200. It's, mm. it's pretty much like the size of a college because it's around a 4,000 person school. Oh, wow. Wow. Holy um, smokes. Yeah. So you were so, in the, uh, you were the in building, the building, you were in the building where it happened and you were on the third floor and it happened on the first floor. Uh, it happened specifically just in the 1200 building. Okay. And the shooter started on the first floor, and then the fire alarm was pulled, and he made his way up through the staircase and went to <clears> all the floors. And so, like, this whole conversation around gun control following that, like, what? how do you feel about it? Um, it's It's both important, but it feels very sort of just unnecessary at the moment because like it happened the second after the shooting people started campaigning for it which just felt kind of odd and then of course like at funerals there would be like reporters saying oh what do you think about pen control when right. everyone's trying to mourn and so in that way it does feel kind of like screwed but it's a little twisted um, emotionally for you guys yeah yeah but like coming out of it weeks after i i can get behind like people really campaigning for it mm. like going down to um to tallahassee and all that sort of thing to try and like get that modulated or however people are campaigning it for it to be done but do you do you agree with like i want to say your your fellow students who are campaigning like they're they're mm. arguing for a ban on a sight rifles and raising the purchasing age, right? Is that what it is? Do you agree with, with, yeah, this, with that um, stuff? My biggest agreement is probably with the age limit. Um, but <laughs> outside of everything else, just I don't really have faith in American politics and really delivering on anything other than the age limit. Yeah. So that, that's why I'm like, I'm really just like solely putting support and raising the age limit and just that. Because mm. it's like a small step and... You're saying, like, we think if we can do the smaller things, we could eventually work towards the larger things. Yeah, for sure. It's it's all just a ladder process with the way, like, the parties work. We can't really do much because, like, I'm pretty sure you have to be 21 for, like, a handgun. But things like full rifles, mm. you can get at 18. So strange. So that's yeah. That's pretty much the weird part. Yeah. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> I had to I had to take a because I was thinking about getting a handgun once, and I had to take a written test and have a permit to have a handgun. But for a shotgun, I'd, yeah, you I guess have to do the rationale being that handguns are concealable and mm-hmm. so more dangerous. Carry, yeah. Would, yeah. But why is assault rifles somehow yeah. like all happy-go-lucky? Like, hey, assault rifles for everyone. Um, I guess no, there's more I handgun violence. No clue. That's strange. Yeah. I think it just has something to do with the fact that 
there's nothing that qual there's nothing that truly qualifies something as an assault <laughs> rifle. Like a semi automatic right. weapon with twenty plus bullets. Mm. Right. Because something. it could be twenty it could be twenty right. rounds, it could be thirty rounds, it could mm -hmm. be ten rounds, it could be whatever. But sure. it's still qualified as a rifle. Right. Mm. But then again, I don't know everything, so I'm probably mm. wrong. There's probably there's probably <laughs> a lot of people angry, out there going, yeah. You yeah. idiot, that's not how it works. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, um, <laughs> Yeah. Damn. Well, do you think that teachers should? Do you think if teachers had weapons, that it would have made any difference for for you guys there? Um, in that regard, I feel like it would only bring more risk, just in the way that the SWAT are like legally have to like conduct themselves. Like, mm -hmm. let's say a streamer gets SWAT and they're like instructed to like kill a dog or anything that could be like a risk to right. them. Mm -hmm. So, if there's a teacher with a handgun. They have no way of telling. Oh, that's a, that's great a point. staff member, yeah. or that's an accomplice. That's a great point. So yeah, that that's always been my biggest concern. There's also concerns of students not having to bring a weapon to school, but being able to take it from a teacher. Right. And there's just yeah. a lot of things like that. And recently, I think about maybe a week ago, there was this armed teacher who shot himself in the leg going to the bathroom. Oh my <laughs> so god. god. Just, but I think oh. actually your point about like imagine the SWAT team going in and then yep. you've got armed teachers around every corner. There's yeah. gonna be friendly fire. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I I just think it's I think, too much of a risk to run. I really wonder why. What is the argument in favor of selling the AR-15? <clears throat> like that, it just seems like a military. Because weapon. it's like, cool. I guess the. <laughs> well, people, I think people who argue and favor it think that in the event that there needs, they need to revolt against the government, mm. they need to have AR-15s. Okay. I see. I think it's, it's also the argument, mm. The I think it's also the slippery slope argument where they say if you take away that, yeah, then they're so going to take away this, take, and then yeah. this, and then this, and then this. Mm. It's really just a matter yeah. of how you interpret the the law. It's kind of so open that it's unfortunate for everybody. But anyway, um, that's crazy. Well, well yeah, we're glad really, you're okay. Yeah, really I'm glad you're okay. That's that yeah. you nuts. Had to go through this. Yeah, I really appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for calling in and sharing your experience with us, man. Yeah. And I'm um, yeah, we're we're glad you're okay. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. God bless you, dude. <laughs> Keep yeah, slamming. Too, Thanks for the insight. Talking. All right, bye, man. <laughs> bye. Bye. Well, that was unexpected. Oh, whoa. What a trip. Yeah. How did you verify that was real, Ian? Because he said it's verified. I'm just curious. Ian, he, he sent his uh <laughs> he sent pictures of his grades with his name and with the Holy shit. Stuff, so. Social security number. We could just steal his <laughs> yeah, identity. Yeah, Ian <laughs> went on a verification <laughs> spree. <laughs> wow, well thank you, Dylan, for calling in. That yeah. was that I hadn't considered that. That's so right. You can't have a freaking Everybody walk around school with guns, and then the SWAT team's coming in at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If there's a threat, they don't have time to hesitate and be like, oh, is that a teacher or is it That's a shooter? Yeah. yeah. There was, um, yeah, there's videos from the Parkland uh, of kids recording the SWAT team clearing the rooms, really? and they're screaming at kids to drop their phones because they can't, I mean, they sure. can't. How are they supposed to know? Yeah. How are they supposed to know that there's not a gunman in there taking kids hostages? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. That kind of that argument alone, I think, locks the the discussion down. It's yeah. It's opinion. not going to convince anybody though. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so uh, like, I, I'm, I'm well, just when in this the president point where... when the president himself is pushing for it. What can you say? I don't know. Yeah. But at the same time, Trump is also arguing in favor of age of raising the age limit to 21. So. Yeah, pretty interesting. I think, I think he just wants to do what what the popular sort of thing mm. is. So if, if everyone's if everyone says yeah, let's let's do that, then I think I think he's gonna say yeah, let's do that. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> All right, well let's listen, guys. We've talked about um, Papa John. We've talked about gun control. Um, we've talked about a lot of really important issues, and I think we've made a lot of we've covered a lot of ground. And now, not to downplay this current one, because I do think it's j as important as all of those, <laughs> I'd like to introduce to you oh a television sh call show called My Big Fat Pet Makeover. Oh, this is just what I need. <laughs> it's, a t it's a reality show about uh, fat pets and the owner and trainer's um, efforts to lose weight, to, for their pets to lose weight. 
This is the best transition of content ever. You yeah. broke the box. Like the Mack truck of Chihuahua. He's fat shaming his own cat. Hey, you broke wow. the box, you fat He's fuck. stealing beef jerky. <laughs> are you kidding me? Pet owners are facing an epidemic. It's huge. Over half our nation's pets are obese. Wow. Oh my God, that poor cat. I'm Travis Morrison. I'm Travis, a fit guy, and my pets are even fitter. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be funny if he was really obese? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> well, okay, so here's the deal. Like, I understand the struggle people have to maintain their own body weight because mm -hmm. you're a person and you make decisions for yourself. Just don't feed your pet, you fucking idiot. Just don't give it food. <laughs> like, it's hard to say that about yourself because, you know, we there's problems in the world and everyone's got shit. I'm kind of in with. support of fat cats. Also, Garfield, They're hello. so adorable. Um, just don't give it any more beef jerky, lady. Professional dog trainer and pet expert. The truth is, fat pets just don't live as long. Her ideal body weight should be closer to 50 pounds. Oh. God damn, they reeled out like a cattle scale and put that poor dog hanging from it. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh. It's not just about helping pets, it's about getting the owners back on track as well. I pretty much give her food every day off of my plate. Oh, Shredder's wow. just because you're a bad <laughs> owner. Ooh, we do that. Shredder's going to be a fat dog. <laughs> Shredder owns us. He's got us wrapped around his finger. He's too cute. He's just yeah. chilling back Can't there. Can't say no. Oh, he's going to be a little fat boy. He's going to be a little hot we dog. We don't give him a lot, though. He's like, we get, he's he, so tiny. We he's give him filet a mignon bite. only. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. I'm on a mission to help these big shit. pets make big yeah. changes. Whoa, can you imagine? Can they're setting up because we owe them the healthiest oh and happiest god. lives oh, they yeah. can have. <laughs> oh my god! So this continues a discussion we were having about how there's now shows for every yeah. flipping niche. In the I world. love this. I love this, but I don't want to see the. I don't want to see the animals get skinny though. You because won't. you won't. No, because <laughs> my big fat fat, fat animals are. Hilarious. It's all right. So adorable. I cannot believe you've said that. I'm sorry. It's an epidemic. And you know, our... I just can't. I'm just not fat shaming, okay? <laughs> I like them the way they are. You know, we, I don't know if we talked about this. There's a show. What's the name of that channel with all the house makeovers? I keep forgetting. Extreme uh, Home Makeover HGTV? or HGTV? H, yeah. H, yeah. So there's a show on there now. They've got a show for everything, they've got one with a black couple. One with a white couple, one with two gay dudes. And it's all, this channel blows my mind. It's all building up and fueling this insane female fantasy. Because they're all like couples usually. And their husband is like a dum-dum. He's like a dodo. He's like a really fit guy who's just like, you know best, honey. I'm going to knock down this wall. <laughs> you know best, honey. And it's like this insane female-fueled fantasy of like, Having this this subservient husband that just builds houses for you and you flip <laughs> even my mom from she's like her dream job has been to flip houses mm -hmm. Flip or flop That's Flip or show. flop <laughs> Every oh that is a show. Yeah, yeah. A show. And, and every episodes exactly the same We made a cash offer and we got this house for four hundred thousand dollars Tore down the walls. There was oh, uh, there's fungus in the walls. Yeah, I can't believe how much it's costing us We <laughs> yeah. ended up making a profit of Thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, I <laughs> on to the next flip. I can shamelessly say I've watched a lot of HGTV I love at, it. at one point in my life, it's, but it really is like they all follow a very specific script where it's like we only want to spend this much. Mm -hmm. Well, we found this house. Well, wow, that's amazing. Oh no, oh, this no. wall is a low bearing new. wall. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have to redesign the whole kitchen. Have you noticed that they say backsplash a lot? <laughs> backsplash is very important. Okay, they you need that. You need that contrast so much. Wall. When they're done and they like put the house on the market, I <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they just bring actors to be like people are looking at the house. This and room is so, so open. It's a so lot funny. Of... They just repeat everything they said on the show. Like <laughs> yeah, there's no way yeah. a normal person will be. The backsplash really pops. <laughs> yeah. The gray I, really pops on that backsplash. Yeah, like, exactly. Who I talks think, like that? I think, uh, which one was it? Love it or leave it? That was the one where they get like three houses. Or house hunters. I think it was house hunters. A lot of those ones, um, people came out. People that were on the show came out. And they're like, oh, yeah, we already bought that house. <laughs> really? Like, really? a lot of them, like, <laughs> they they had already bought the house. Hmm. And the show, they just made the show like they were considering the house and considering two other houses. Wow. But they already bought the Reality house. show lies. I know. <laughs> well, my favorite isn't flip or flop when they're like, 
we bought this house for five hundred thousand, and after costs and upgrades, we're at we need a seven hundred thousand break even. We're gonna list it for one and a half million, <laughs> and then at the end, they're like that. Well. It's been three it's months and the, the house market. is still in the market and we haven't gotten any offers. I wonder why. And I'm like, fuck you and your shitty flip job. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, the point that I had is that there's a show for every single person. This show, and then there's a new one on that channel called My Dream Lottery Home, where they go with people who have won the lottery, rags to riches. <laughs> it's yeah. like the female fantasy is off the chain. Well, that's just any fantasy. It's just wish fulfillment. But, it, I mean, it's incredible how they like are tapping so specifically. How, like, how you... many people won yeah. the lottery? And then are also willing to come on the show. Yeah. yeah. So my theory about that is that the lottery sponsors that show. And they have in the agreement that if you win, you got to buy a new house with these guys. <laughs> That'd be funny. Because how, I mean, how is it that they have this show every week? We just won $100 million and, you know, a couple of yokels. I haven't used that word What's ever. It's a great word. <laughs> it's like a dumb oaky. Another great word. I haven't used it well. Derogatory but against Oklahomans. Yeah, yeah, it is very derogatory, but I don't think anyone will take too much offense. That was, yeah. But it's just like a bunch of... Yeah. No, I I, wa I like was watching that. that. I was like, is this HGTV? Because it's like shot the same way with like the happy like mm -hmm. couple. Like, oh, we just want the best for our dog. Mm -hmm. Well, too bad. We found there's a load bearing wall in this dog. We're going to have to redesign this yeah. whole dog. Yeah, pretty much. Um, gosh, man. Look at this gif. We often think of animals as, you know, non-human animals. Watch this and tell me that human that animals aren't human. Is this gonna make me go vegan? They're human, my dude. They're clearly not human, but um. this isn't a great thing to watch Aww. on a podcast. There's Aww. no sound or anything. <laughs> but okay, Aww. the story is that this monkey broke his leg, and a vet took it in for like three weeks and fixed his leg. Yeah, Here so is the moment when the monkey oh. is reunited with his family. Tell me if this isn't the sweetest damn thing you've ever seen in your life. Look at these little monkey fucks giving their little guy a hug. Oh my <laughs> god. Look at this. Is this not heart? So the oh. whole family comes out and hugs this poor guy. It's, it's, it's amazing. What if they're just feeling him for warmth to see if they could eat him? <laughs> they're like, this thing, can I eat this dude? Like I heard there's something there's something weird about um dogs like when they lick when they lick you it's not like a sign of love it's actually something like really messed up I don't I I'm not a dog don't expert tell me that. but yeah it's it's not it's not like oh I love you <laughs> no, kind of thing yeah, it's I kisses. think it's like a dominance thing or it's some sort of weird you thing You tell me that this guy is dominating me Oh absolutely every time he licks me You guys are betas total it's betas love. Barbara Streisand cloned her dogs, speaking of which. Have you yeah. heard about that? Yeah. She spent $100,000 to clone. She made two dogs from her dog that died a couple years ago from its DNA and made exact replicas. <laughs> Barbara Streisand, <laughs> who cloned her dog not once, but twice. Yeah, so the entertainer told Variety that two of her dogs, Miss Scarlet and Miss Violet, were cloned from her 14-year-old pet, Samantha, who died last year. She says the cells were harvested from Sam's mouth and stomach, but she says the clones have different personalities. Streisand has a third dog of the same breed, which she says isn't... What do you think about that? I'm more focusing on the way this woman's reading the teleprompter. She <laughs> seems like she wants to kill herself. <laughs> She's like, Robert Streisand. <laughs> um, you know, hey, if you got the money... And we all no, know we, that. Could do we all know that uh, Stricey does. Oh my God! I was just curious because they're like, hundred thousand dollars. That's nothing to her. I was like, well, I don't know how rich is Barbara Streisand. It's worth like four hundred million. Yeah, man. What? What? I guess I missed the Streisand era. I think it was a little bit before she's our time. She's an icon. I yeah. didn't know that she was so big. She was. Yeah, she's a superstar. Is that what they call it? The Streisand effect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that thing called? Is that There's, when you make four hundred million dollars? Streisand effect. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I could definitely understand people doing that. I wouldn't do that because there's so many dogs in pounds. If you mm. want a dog, just go to the freaking pound and get right. a dog. Um, but yeah, I have a friend, uh, her parents lost their little tiny dog and they bought an identical dog in a totally different state mm. because they needed it to be just like the last one. Mm. So... I know those people would do the same exact thing. <laughs> is it a desecration of life to like clone a dog almost to like to revive it? And eh. it's a strange thing. 
I just I didn't know it was already an option. Like yeah, apparently for rich people talk. you can just. <laughs> I didn't know that was an option. Wait till like a rich person does that for their kid. Yeah. Yeah, I think that Ooh. is illegal. But that will be a creepy day when that does happen. I don't think that humans have been cloned yet. That we know of. That we know of, yeah. Um, Would you clone little Shredrick? It's hard. You know? I love him so much. <laughs> Let's clone him now. Let's just have an army of Shredders in here. 100 Shredders. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay 10 million for that. I'll take out a loan. All right, speaking of animals that uh, you'll want to clone. We oh, need to yes, watch please. this one for a while. Boston Dynamics, who make the lifelike, creepy robots that mm -hmm. haunt our dreams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is their new robot. Uh, yeah, we've seen this one jump before. Why do they have to make them look like they're straight out of Half-Life? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're intentionally harvesting my nightmares. They could use, yeah, like, I definitely killed these things or in Metal Gear. or something. What? Like, make it in pastel colors. Just to make it seem more friendly? Yeah. The death machine to seem more friendly? <laughs> Just put a smiley face on it? This this $100 million robot opens doors. What a guy. And quietly. Very so you don't wake up. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's even a it's really polite of him. Yeah, that was very, very, very nice. He wouldn't do that for a human, though, because <laughs> they remember everything. Well, they definitely took the the door opener job. Oh my all god! All those all those poor guys Talk holding about, open doors. Uh, watch out! I'm jobs are going out the window every freaking day. Um, now we we've spoken about deep fakes on the show before, mm. and how people are using famous actresses' face. To put on famous porn stars' faces, uh, but did you know that deep fakes are not just for pornography anymore? In fact, no, there's man. all kinds of applications, really useful, elegant applications. For example, Nick Cage <laughs> on the face of every movie star ever. Oh yes, Doctor Pavel, I'm CIA. Everybody's Nick Cage. Uh, you don't get to bring friends. I'm not my friends. Oh, no, not don't everybody. Worry. Just him on the left. No choice for them. And why would I want them? They were trying to grab your prize. This is the best Oh, shit, I did not hear Oh, no. Gosh, man. No. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like bloated Nick Cage. That's weird. <laughs> This is very confusing for yeah, me. Yeah, why, uh, why only pornography? Why? This is way more valuable to us. <laughs> Who actually is that? Tom? Hanks? It's Harrison Ford. Harrison this is, uh, Ford. Oh, this is, this is Raiders. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is what history should have been. I love the packed in inspirational music, too, to go along with it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the world is changing, my friends. It's weird. It's a brave new world out here. But you saw that they replaced uh, Henry Cavill's mustache. Like, he used, like, a $500 yeah. computer and did it better than Warner Brothers did. Oh, yeah, did. yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, that's awesome. true. <laughs> that is true. Um, Didn't we talk about that shitty... Yeah, oh, yeah we had Captain, Captain D on. Mm. Yeah. He, was, he liked it. He didn't have anything to say bad about it. <laughs> God, I have to pee so bad, but we don't have any more breaks. Uh-oh. I'm going to power through this. Keep drinking. <laughs> That's always the key. Drink you know, more. Says, when, she, when you have to pee, you don't drink. Yeah. But I've not really found that to be... Once I have to pee, I don't think that adding more liquid yeah. is necessarily going to I don't know. Maybe it's psychological, but I feel like it's got to make it worse. I mean, you have no. to be right to an extent. Yeah. <laughs> And some for some people like they eat hot food on a hot day, so I don't know. Maybe mm. who does that? <laughs> Crazy people. You know, I read in Israel the Bedouin drink hot tea on hot days because really? it makes them sweat and it cools them down. That did oh. not make sense to me because you don't need help sweating. Hmm. I called them a liar. They kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> out of Israel? <laughs> yeah, they, I, it was a bad day. Um, I have a bunch of gifts here, which is kind of stupid to watch, but I, this thing cracked me up so much. 
this drunk guy at a party. I couldn't even believe this was real. He's got. He's trying to get to the bathroom, and he's mistaken himself in the mirror for somebody else. <laughs> oh and my he god! Thinks that this guy is blocking his path, oh, and it's just no. I've never seen anything like it in my life. What? So he's trying to let himself by. <laughs> he's like, "Go ahead." Oh, oh my, my god. god! And now he's getting like, "What? What? Is, what kind of, I just when is he? Get, ah! This is like a Mr. Bean episode in yeah. real life." Oh my god! You. <laughs> I'm watching Mr. Bean in real life. <laughs> oh, is he starting to realize it? He's like, oh, wait. I don't think so. No. I think he. Nope, he, still going. No, wow. God. Wow. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. <laughs> What's your problem, buddy? He's starting to fight. Wow. Yeah. He, oh, is it setting in? Yeah, maybe he's like, oh, shit. Oh. Maybe I've had enough to drink. <laughs> Wow. I mean, I didn't know that was possible. He's got like, he's on like the monkey level of, or even lower maybe. It's How like can Shredder you looking be there, there and still stand, yeah. you know? Like, be that fucked up, but you can still stand? Somebody said it must, may have been a touch of dementia, which kind of makes it less funny. Oh, why did they have to make it sad? You know, I'd, Come I'd, on. I'd make it that into oh, a more man. depressing thing. I'm sure it was just alcohol. Let's just, let's just he assume it's beers. alcohol yeah. so we can enjoy it. Yeah. This blew my mind a little bit. This <laughs> podcast just turned into fun facts. I'm sorry, you guys. You ever heard of... How do you say eggplant in Hebrew, Ela? Chatzil. Oh, that doesn't help me. <laughs> in most European languages, they call it like Oberman or something. Aubergine? Aubergine. Aubergine? Mm -hmm. Aubergine? And everyone's like, oh, eggplant. Americans are fucking idiots. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh. Uh. Well, look what eggplants look like when they're growing. Oh. Eggs. Oh, uh, wow. Kinda case cool. closed. <laughs> kind of cool. What's gotcha. the real Aubergine boys? <laughs> Got him. Wow. That's it. That's the whole story. <laughs> no, it was Welcome good. Welcome to the Got school of Ethan. First <laughs> Top lesson. of the week, y'all. Um, this I love this clip so much. This was so great. Trying to steal your information from your computer. Shout out to this you are not having for a one of the greatest on clips I've ever seen. Kit Boga. So this dude, I guess, makes it a, a habit of messing with scammers on his stream <laughs> and he set up a virtual drive on his computer because what they do is like oh man you've got you've got a virus or you owe the irs and i need to get on your com machine on your computer and they, okay, but uh, where are they, they end up like stealing their you know files or whatever and so he sets up this virtual drive and gives them access and he has all these folders set up. Trying to steal your information from your crazy. computer, sir, because you are not having a protection on your computer. Okay, but that where are they from? Because I have, like, uh... So he's got folders, bank, <laughs> guitar chords, memes, nudes, and taxes. <laughs> okay. Guess which one he goes for first. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of people from... from Straight like, to the nudes, you know, from my like dudes. From, Russia, you know? <laughs> but maybe that is, uh... Okay, maybe that... because... <laughs> what it is? What it is? What is this? Wait, why are you look at why are you looking at my <laughs> it is very private. <laughs> Fucking naked mole rats. I love the first thing he does, straight to the nudes. That's great. Oh my That's, gosh. It's about to play That's, something. Uh oh. You know, I noticed this new thing. The glass. If it's on Twitch, it may get me banned on YouTube. I've noticed this thing on my phone where if I'm getting a call from a scammer now, it shows up bright red and it says probably scammer. It's so cool. Yeah. I had I had a woman call me and she started the phone call with, hello, this is not a scam. My name is. Great. Tell me everything. <laughs> yeah. She's like, my name is Annie. And by the, and again, this is not a scam call. And I was just like, no. <laughs> Uh, well, the the funny thing about the probably not a probably a scam warning is it makes me more likely to answer in a way because I'm and mess with I them. get intrigued. Yeah, <laughs> tell me more about this likely scam. Um, guys, there's this. That's about it. <laughs> we raise stand. This is it, guys. <laughs> you just really have to pee. I have I to it. pee. I want to wrap this show up. Well, it is actually almost two hours. What? Ooh. Right then? It's yeah. like almost five. Yeah. yeah. What? About five uh, minutes. Uh, about Are ten, you freaking ten minutes? Short. How? <laughs> How? <laughs> That's blowing my mind. Well, there's a couple more videos I want to go over. Okay, I got some more stories. I put together a collection of the of awful Olympians. I don't know how people so awful at their chosen sport end up in the Olympics. I guess because, like, apparently every country 
Swimmers' best athletes go. Sure. So if their best athlete happens to not be able to swim, then so be it. As it was the case with this young fine man here, who was uh, from some African country. Was this the one? And yeah, also well, didn't know how to swim. Uh, uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh. oh, great start. After two false starts, yeah. and everyone has to queue up again. Have the fast hit one of the hundred meters free. Roy and here he goes. Okay, off he goes. Uh, let's Get see it, what boy. He's um, looking very, very good. He's, from he's looking he's very, very out. good. Too hard. <laughs> His head is he above the water. In the last he's kicking. Know, he's, he's thrashing about there. <laughs> like, like, uh, everybody's already well, finished, by the way. One has been uh -huh. A lot of it's glamour and interest. I mean, he's great. still he's probably a, a better swimmer than I am. Roy, he's an Olympian. But on the way see, back, he's one slowed down race, uh, quite a bit. Competitor from <laughs> this is just... Eric Musumbani. Roy, bring it home. Bring the boy home, Roy. It's only the the clock he's beating now hg so, yeah he's, 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 he's slowed down a quite a bit there now. we know the world record's about 48 <laughs> seconds so like that. correct he's oh, oh, his legs are not 70. even moving now oh, i think someone's gonna have to jump in and save him of the second lap why would this guy he put is, himself through this like, like, even to be in the olympics he's got a chance to get there he's not gonna make it i think he's right on target he's not gonna make it he's getting so slow i love how the announcers are just trashing this here's a very big chance do you think he's starting to wonder like how long is this pool? Yeah, like, I don't remember. I don't think he trained in Olympic pool because <laughs> he's got coaches. Yeah, they're all cheering. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that's the world record. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, come on. Did you do it? I'm hyped. Uh, I'm hyped. The world record was like 48 seconds. He did two minutes, so <laughs> close. Close enough. So apparent. So whatever African country is from, they didn't send Olympians. So he's like, "Hey, I'm gonna qualify," and they're like, "You're the best." <laughs> I think we gotta go to a pool and try to beat his record. We're actually pretty good swimmers. Good. I think oh really? I, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that guy's clearly much healthier than me, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even with my, but I mean, hey, I, I give it a shot. Well, so that's one. That's classic as it gets. This was from the most recent Olympics, and I don't know the backstory. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> this guy really, <laughs> out of the gate, really, just a great start. <laughs> Get it, my doggy. It looks <laughs> it's like a slapstick comedy, man. Get it, my dude. Get it. But I, I think I this one actually isn't the Olympics, but maybe a qualifier for mm. the Olympics or something. Okay. <laughs> they don't have the little Olympic. Race. I just, I don't get the mentality of these people who are like, I'm going to learn how to ski during an Olympic qualifier. Get it. Adventure. Get it. You got it, buddy. They put a little dissolve in there. Oh, God. Oh, oh, man, you got it. Don't give up. Oh, he's oh right. shit. Don't give up, man. He's got, like, all the professional gear and shit. I think that's the fastest way to ski is to walk sideways. Look at that form. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, that hurts. Oh, is he going to bomb down this hill? Oh, no. He's going to eat it. Oh, you got it. Is he, yep, oh. there you go. Yep. That I, you almost go. looked good for oh. a second. Oh. I'd love to see a competition between... Oh. <laughs> He's like twisting oh, his ankle. Oh, no. <laughs> I'd love to see a Bizarro Olympics with him and peers <laughs> on his skill level. Yeah. It's almost like the WB superstar version of the Olympics. Yeah. I can relate to this too much because I, I grew up cross-country skiing with my parents. It's the worst sport ever invented. I don't I know. I have never skiing's tried horrifying. it. Skiing's horrifying. I went skiing once and I'll never go again. Oh, really? downhill skiing's fun. I went with my friend and his dad who are like skiing superstars. And I am not an athletic guy by default. And they're like, oh, let's go skiing. It's going to be fun. I'm like, cool. Yeah. Never tried it. They're like, yeah, don't worry about it. We'll take care of you. So first thing they give me, first of all, they don't give me skis. They give me ski blades, which is some hot new thing that's in fashion. Oh, it's a tiny. mini, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's like you have to be kind of experienced to Probably zip harder. around on those. Right. Less stable. They're like go right down the bunny slope a couple times. So I fall on my ass a couple times, but I make it down and I'm feeling pretty good. And they're like, okay, let's go to the top of the hill and do and and go down together. I'm like, cool. That sounds fun. I'm ready. So they take me down. A black diamond. Mm. 
Thinking back on this, how could they do that to me? Yeah, and these fun. and these were your friends? It was my best friend and his dad. I think they must have secretly despised me. They're trying to kill you, for sure. So so there's different levels of ski slopes. Black okay. Diamond is expert level. <laughs> and so I'm bombing down this hill. It's so fucking steep. And I'm just like, I'm not going down this because, you know, you bomb down the hill and there's like netting followed by a death drop. Oh my God. And so I'm like, no, I'm not like I'm scared out of my mind. So I'm zigzagging one foot at a time. It takes me like an hour to get down this hill. People are zipping past me being like, hey, fucking idiot. Or like, it's dangerous, frankly. Yeah. It's like driving down the freeway at 10 miles per hour. Why are you doing it? And That's they're standing at the bottom of the hill waiting for me. It was awful. <laughs> they're like, damn it. He made it. <laughs> Thinking back on that, man. I think you should try it again. Do you like skiing? Uh, I, I, I'm a snowboarder, but I oh, haven't sick, been. Oh, sick, bro. Yeah, Fuck yeah. Psh, 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 psh. Hell yeah. But uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to give that up and, and start skiing whenever I get back to the slopes. It's I like been to a go couple skiing years. with you. Let's go. I, I want to give it's it a It's actually, shot. it's dumping Elo, up. we should do that. That'd be I've so fun. I've never done it, but It's I dumping love... up in Tahoe right now, bro. <laughs> I love the gear. I Hit up to, North like... Star or Sugar Bowl. Or Kirkwood. <laughs> Damn, man. You know? Maybe we'll hit up you. Heavenly I'll, if you're feeling real bougie. I'm going to go with Ian. He's going to take me down to like a double black diamond. Man, all you got to know is pizza pie french fry. That's all you got to know. Pizza pie I'll just, french fry? What does that mean? Oh, is that like... Because you have your skis say? and you want to slow down or stop. You put your skis like this. Make a pizza pie. Pizza pie? If you're ready to roll. French fry, french fry you're ready my to doggy. go. Yeah. I'll take you guys. Actually, I got you. all of a sudden skiing sounds fun again. I feel like I went through therapy <laughs> and I'm ready for snow sports again. Yeah, you definitely skied with assholes, and that's that's the number one that? rule. I've always cherished their friendship. It was Kyle, friend? my dear good friend from my childhood, and his dad, who I've always loved and respected. And in retrospect, I think they wanted me to die. Yeah. I took Anthony <laughs> skiing one time, and but they, him and his girlfriend at the time, uh, they... They were on the bunny hill and they were getting used to it. And I was kind of I was going off with my friend. I guess I wasn't being a good friend because I didn't I didn't help them. And we were going up a ski lift, and I see, I think it was both of them, and they were just bombing straight down. They're oh, like, no. "Well, we don't know how to stop, so we're just gonna oh, go no. straight down." And they're like, yeah. "Ah!" <laughs> they made it. They did one run and then wiped out. They and were, we're done. like, "We're good. Oh, we're good." That sucks. <laughs> it's terrifying because you can just run away. There's like real danger. There is, and it like, seems when you're doing it, real danger. I don't know how much, but it seems very real danger, because you can always just eat shit and it's snow, so you'd be. But I don't know how those drops, because it looks like you would die, but I don't know if you would. <laughs> yeah, sure, you could die. Maybe you could find if you a run way. into a tree. Yeah, there's not generally trees in the bunny. <laughs> no, in the bunny hill, no, or, or but anywhere else, really. really? Yeah. Huh. But I mean, I was it's in, usually I was pretty in, uh, widely groomed. Yes, trail exactly. So, unless you're going balls to the wall, you usually don't have to worry. About I want to go. I want to do it, Ella. I'm going to put some snow blades on you and take you to the top and sh give you a shove Let's down. Do it. Let's shred it up. To. I never tried it. I'm all, I'm just plotting to get your MacBook Air. <laughs> Wait, what? I wanted to toss your ass down the black diamond and <laughs> with her MacBook Air and in her hand, just be like, "Got your laptop <laughs> in the lab reply to murder you for a laptop." Well, try. <laughs> Elo zips on down. <laughs> so, there's one other Olympic uh, knucklehead. This guy's not really a knucklehead, but it was kind of funny in the Olympics. Oh, the the lady that scammed her way into the Olympics. <laughs> she, so, what's the story? You she scammed her way. What do you mean? Or is that just a general From statement? Hungary. Well, she it, it, there was some sort of thing where she so. found out that um, as long as she didn't crash or something during the competitions leading up to the Olympics, that she would qualify for the Olympics. Oh, interesting strategy. Yeah, she nobody told her she would win though, or no one told her she couldn't win. So she goes. This is like the massive trick. She's supposed to be doing like ten eighties and fucking wheelie dupes, and she's just cruising down the half pipe. This is her routine, which is impressive for like the layman, but yeah. it is the Olympics. After I mean, all. I, I guess you'd, you'd still be a pretty proficient skier to do I'd to do impressed. the half pipe. Sure. And she does a little. She, yeah, she does a little uh, three sixty there. Totally, that was insane. <laughs> but there she goes, like, hey, oh yeah, hey. style, bro. When, mom loop. 
When you snowboard, uh, Ian, do you do fucking some tricks? Do you grind the rails uh, and stuff? When I was 15, I was like, I'm going to try I'm gonna go to the train park. I want to see if I could start doing some jumps and hit some boxes and stuff. And um, and then I found out that uh, that, that hurts when you, you fail <laughs> and i'm not i'm not really big on injury so me neither yeah i yeah so I, <laughs> I i i tried out the train park a few times found it wasn't my thing fractured my wrist and then i was done oh uh, yeah i had a similar experience my dad owned a bike shop and so a lot of my friends were into bmx extreme biking Ooh. dude building ramps and hitting fat air and they got the sweet <laughs> knobs on the backs of their wheels. Bro, knobs in case your buddy wanted to ride for some reason. Oh, no, the knobs were for grinding, Dag. Yeah, <laughs> Dag. Well, I hit a fat ramp, mm. and I ate shit spectacularly, and I never <sighs> tried it again. Which is sad, because I always thought they were so cool. They were. You just aren't. <laughs> I think, yeah, I want, I, that's, that was what was sad. I wanted to be cool. And yeah, then, I did the same thing with skateboarding. I I bought like a twenty dollars skateboard from Big Five, and I was like, I'm gonna try the skateboarding thing because my friend had started doing it. I think I was I think I was maybe ten or something, and uh, and our neighborhood the the sidewalk sucked. I hit a crack, ate shit, and I was like, <laughs> Nah, maybe it's not my thing. Never again. I'm gonna be a I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be a skateboard guy. There's really. I feel like we are the same in that. <laughs> like the minute that I have any sense of danger at mm -hmm. all, yeah. I'm just like, I'm never doing this again. I'm just a giant pussy, really. It's not worth it. Not worth it for me. My dad was the big risk taker. and Aren't you so glad that we never had to serve in a war? I would be oh. completely worthless. Well, I mean, it could still happen. Nah, we're too old. Eh, if, they, think... if they churn through enough people. <laughs> I've got, what, is, what is, was it that Trump said? I got knee sprints, man. I got a, I got a mm. flat Oh, the, bone, the bo bone, bone spurs? spurs? I got bone, got bone spurs, spurs, man. Yeah. I got, uh, I'm fat. Is that an excuse? Uh, <laughs> if you could maybe like link some sort of like athletic um, deficiency to that, I don't know. I have asthma. I don't know if that would get me out. Sounds good. No. It's a promising lead. I don't think they draft people over thirty. I mean, I don't think there's anything preventing them from. I mean, we're all registered. For maybe the draft. thirty-five is where they cut it off. I need to. You know what? I think we're good. Anyway, I'm a giant coward, mm. and I would be worthless on the front line. Yeah. And I'm very happy. And actually, I think about this often. How fortunate are we to have never been sent to that meat grinder Dude. in our lifetime? Vietnam Shit. just fucking oh, like that. traumatized a whole generation, dude. Yeah, Thank it's pretty God. nutty. Thank God. Well, I mean, we're, we're still technically in a war. <clears throat> in the longest one ever, so. Which one is that? There's always time. <laughs> Which one is that? Uh, Afghanistan. Oh, yeah. They never drafted anyone, though. No, but it's still going on. Well, so there's always there's always hope, Ethan. It's very yeah. big, brother. It's very 1984, isn't it? The never ending war. Hmm. I've never. I don't. I don't read. I've never read a book. There's a never ending is... war. Oh, is that what it is? It's weird. It's. I just read it recently, so I'm. I sound like a fucking like. <laughs> let me reference this book, which I've already referenced three times. And like, no, the you past... sound really smart. <laughs> In that book, the theory was that there would be never-ending wars to waste resources to keep people poor. Because technology gets better and we get more efficient, we had to find a way to keep the classes separated and to keep people poor. So they had ongoing wars so they could literally just destroy resources. Yeah, there's probably some truth to that. That's a book. KFC <laughs> is having a chicken crisis. Oh, that this is much bit better news. <laughs> this is um, after switching delivery services, KFC in the UK were left without any chicken at all. Almost seven hundred of all the K of KFCs in the UK were closed down with no flipping chicken to speak of. Oh no, that's uh, crazy! Drama and pandemonium <laughs> ensued. For example, here I've got a whole a bunch of media about this chicken crisis. Our story of our times after KFC runs out of chicken, the police are forced to warn people to stop calling. Look how careful it's he was with the tape. <laughs> Sorry, we are closed. The police have warned people stop calling KFC oh my God. about we're at a chicken. <laughs> Imagine calling the police about that. Story of our times <laughs> after KFC runs out of chicken, the police are forced to warn people to stop. Oh calling. man, this is real. This is real bad. <laughs> this this tweet really kind of solidified it for me. 
disaster took the grandkids out to dinner at KFC. I wanted to find to see that it shut down. Some chicken shortage took them to McDonald's, but it's not the same. Crying in the bathroom. <laughs> Can't show weakness in front of them. Okay, that's the crisis. Joke, right? yeah, yeah, it's a joke. I wish he would have kept it a little more straight because I. <laughs> that's. But there's but there's people that that get legitimately upset about that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, I'm sure. You plan your whole day. You go to KFC. Story of all time. Burger King. Oh here. I'm about to go to Burger King. Oh no. <laughs> the injustice in this world is frankly immeasurable. I'm just happy to know that it's not just America with people like that. <laughs> it's yeah. It gives me a little bit more more comfort, you know. Well, you know they framed it all fucked up. They're like, "Oh man, uh aren't you what'd you do?" They're like, "What'd you do?" I went to Burger King and they're like, "Frame it all." Like this nutty lady complaining. Um please police have to tell people to stop calling. Here, this is a tweet from the UK Police Department. Please do not contact us about the KFC crisis. It is not a police matter if your favorite eatery is not serving the menu that you desire. Are you sure it's not a police matter? The KFC crisis. Excuse me, I pay your salary with my taxes. I say what's a crisis. Word. I call 911. You guys need to head over to Ralph's and get that chick in the KFC. I'll be waiting. Um, at least the chicken is back. You'll all be, uh, relieved to find out. Wow. But if, if injustice couldn't get any, any worse, gravy shortages are now a problem <laughs> after the chicken returns. No. What's going on? I mean, that's arguably the best part of KFC is the gravy. What's with all the shortages? School shootings, gun control. Yeah. Papa war. John is gone. Pa and now, now this, I'm expect to stomach this on top of everything. No. Enough is enough. You know, uh, I was told when I was in Australia that their KFC is better. Hmm. Can confirm. Why? I think it's the chicken. Do you think it's the wow? In <laughs> yeah, I think it's the chicken that they get the, that they get, that they're, they're supplied with. I think I it's just like better. everything is better in Australia. I want to, I've never been. I've Except never for been. the spiders. Is it more expensive there? Um, compared to LA, probably not. I mean, the chicken specifically. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't know. They, I mean, the alcohol is a lot more expensive in Australia. Mm. That's the one. That's the one place where we got them. You know, we got cheap alcohol. <sighs> so much better than that. <laughs> Everyone who goes to Australia is like loves it. And you know, yeah. things are heating up with Russia. Putin's bragging about he's got some nuclear bombs that can't be shot down. Mm. Um, I'm looking into New Zealand's visa program. Because Post Malone is looking for a nuclear bunker. I'm looking for a nuclear safe country. Yeah, nobody really hates New Zealand yet. <laughs> Who's going to drop a bomb on New Sauron Zealand? Sauron does. Oh. Sauron. Got me. Got me. <laughs> like, But seriously, if there's one country, if bombs started falling, that would be fine. New Zealand. So wait, what happened to Australia? Because yeah. we started with Australia. New Zealand's too big. They're just like, their chicken's too dank. They can't. You mean Australia is too big? Well, New Zealand's close, and they kind of oh. sound I feel like similar. Canada would be easier, you know? There's going to be too much fallout, because there's New York there, there's Seattle, there's all these, there's too much border uh, yeah. drama. I don't know. I, I I have something with Australia. You think there will be the future? They just sound cool. They're like, everything I like their is accent. cool there. It's like cool. Let's yeah. go. It's Let's the country just, of cool. Do you think that we could just move there? Just pay off some official? <laughs> I don't know. There's probably some, I mean, a lot of countries, I know, I know at least to get into the U.S., they have like a special visa program where if you can prove that you're a, a celebrity, like an important, uh, oh, important tell person. Tell me more. <laughs> well, you, got, you guys are already, you know, citizens, so you don't even need to worry about that. But Of Australia? No, I mean, in order to get into the U.S., mm. if you can prove that oh, you're, yes, American, yeah. I think if, like, if you're a Exceptional celebrity. Exceptional talent or, yeah. 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 I don't know about Australia. You're not a uh, an Australian immigration lawyer. Uh, I'm still brushing That's up on that. Why invited you here? Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, give it about a year, and we'll move to uh, New Zealand. That'd be fun. Let me stay in your guest house. Are you worried about the stability of the world, Ian? Nah. It's gonna work itself out. You're an optimist. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's that or nuclear war. And in which case, it's all fucked anyway. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point of surviving? Yeah. Although, like after after like the the 
Kim Jong Un stuff started heating up, I started like reading those articles that was like the p- best place is to hide for the fallout. <laughs> and that, I was like, that, that tone is perfect. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those articles were getting some serious hits during yeah. that time. Oh yeah. But then I was like thinking, I was like, okay, so I need to like get to a place that has you know that's underground. That you started scheming on how to save your ass. Yeah, and I was I was thinking, okay, if I'm at the office, they have an underground parking garage that's better than than in my house, which is a wood structure. Okay. It's like the like, 1950s again, though, for dude, real. Yeah. And also, Kim Jong Un, aka Little Rocket Boy, in the words of our great leader, he can, he's can hit LA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're the only ones. He's not gonna bomb Guam. Yeah. Or do you think he would hit the Valley or downtown, though? Good question. I've thought about that. Where probably, would the probably bomb downtown. fall? Yeah, downtown. downtown. I think I'd be fine for symbolism's sake, and also it's a financial sector. The so. Hollywood Hills. I mean, well, actually, they probably just hit both. I mean, they probably got enough. You think they've got enough? I don't know. Fuck. Well, Austin, <laughs> Post Malone has a now, he bought a house. Yeah. I'm not going to say where, obviously, but he's tr- mapped out the place. Not only that it won't get hit by a nuke, but it's also f- uh, safe from nuclear winds. Whoa. <laughs> so what I'm serious need, about this. Yes. So what I need now is, like, I need to train as a helicopter pilot. Mm-hmm. So that when it's like, oh, when I get that text like they got in Hawaii, uh, I zip up and I zip out. Mm. There's no freeway bullshit. There's no tunneling. It's up and out like Superman. Yeah. And I'm like, peace out, everybody. That's a good plan. I would just be cowering in my house and just crying and wishing why I didn't prepare better. What? Damn it, Ethan, with his helicopter. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, can you pick me up, bro? I'm not that far away. Sorry, man. <laughs> What about you, Eli? Are you worried about the stability of the world? Mm. I come from Israel. Like, <laughs> that's so dude, true. Dude, really? Been, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's... Well, you're kidding me. <laughs> I got, I got, um, I got like a, a South Korean Uber driver one time during like some of the hullabaloo, a little bit before the nukes, the 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 new nuke stuff, and and he's just like, yeah, North Korea always just has a bomb, and they're always just threatening, and it, and he was like. I think he was 40 something. He lived, he grew up in South Korea with that threat always looming sure. and nothing ever happening. Right. Mm-hmm. So his, uh, his whole stance on it was, eh. what can you do? Yeah. <laughs> Dan, what about you? Is the world going to, when is the world going to end Dan? I oh, think, no. I think it's begun. The nukes got I think him. It's begun. <laughs> All right. Dan. I have to pee so bad. I can't believe it's been over two hours already. Yeah. Whew. You did it. Happy weekend, um, everyone. Um, I happy am weekend. So, first of all, I've saved this little nugget for all you guys who stuck through to the end. Guess who's coming on, not next week, but the week after? You'll never guess. Bill Nye the Science Guy. No, but... It's weirdly... <laughs> it's Bob Saget. Oh, no. Bob Saget is coming oh, on our no. podcast. Don't bring any children. Yeah. He's got a dirty mouth, that man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's just, I'm excited. Shredder it's just, listen. it's so, uh, it's such a twist, right? Yeah. Bob Saget. And it's just like everywhere you look. It's so hard. It's a so sag. I don't remember the rest of the theme song for Full House. Mm. I never watched Full House. That was a, a America's Funny Song ah. videos. So that oh that week we have the, the live show and Bob Saget. Yeah, it's, it's going to be, be two shows. Yeah. It's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be a big week. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great, terrific, blessed, wonderful weekend. Just remember, Papa John is on hold right now. If you're thinking about getting a pizza pie, <laughs> consider picking up Pizza Hut, the official sponsor of the of the, <laughs> the NFL. And hopefully, whoever pays me more. Poor Papa. I have. How, can you believe that no pizza company has ever paid me still to this day? Like, whoever, some some marketing pizza person, a little seizures. Seizures? Yeah. Well, they're not, they're not going to give you money now. <laughs> you know. I think DiGiorno. DiGiorno. They got yeah, such you're a thinking, great name. You're thinking too big, man. You got to think smaller. Tombstone? DiGiorno. Does that still exist? Tombstone pizza? Tombstone sounds bad. It's like, what? It's like, yeah, you're going to die if you eat this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you fat ass. Red Baron? I ate that for many years. DiGiorno's not bad. I had a slice of that recently, and it's real saucy, and I was like, damn, yeah. boy, DiGiorno. <laughs> <laughs> shit. It's kind of a great name. Hey, I like those Joe's Trader Joe's pizzas, man. Those are the real deal. 
Trader Joe's frozen game is off, off the, the chain. chain hook. <laughs> yeah. Close. We were almost thinking up on that at the end. Oh, all right. <laughs> We've ended this like five times by now. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.